Oh, but you meet such colorful characters in taxis, like, like Alex Rieger and Tony, and that funny foreign guy who worked in a garage. Rieger, cab 402. Nardo, you and your luscious melons are in 315. Now get the hell out of here, you losers. Hey, Louie, what about the foreign guy? No way, Banta, he's a nut job. Come on, Louie, show a little compassion for once in your miserable life. All right, can of waterworks. Jackie Chan, cab 302. Hey, <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, you know, you people are nothing like the communists they show on TV. We now return to the communists. I hear report cards were handed out today. What were your grades? Uh, uh, uh. Quit Stalin and answer your father. <laughs> Go ahead, honey, and tell us your marks. Do I Khrushchev? Did somebody say Khrushchev? You notice? People will do anything for a beautiful person. Yeah, you know, come to think of it. Hi, I'm on a scavenger hunt, and I need a human foot. Well, as a rule, I would say no, but okay, come in. So, uh, so this is what? This is for, like, a school project? Ah! 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 It's just, I, I, I've been trying to teach Chris how to be a man, you know? First, I tried teaching him how to eat an Oreo. Chris, the way to eat an Oreo is to twist it, Pull it apart and lick it. Now you. Then I tried teaching them how to get out of paying a check. Uh, waiter, there's a dead guy in my soup. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. Of course your soup is gratis. Thank you. Now your turn. Waiter, there's a dead guy in my... Ah! 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 <laughs> It's all of a twit, if you ask me. I would have done things rather differently, I can tell you that. Please, sir, I want some more. What? Please, sir, I want some more. More? All right, stop it. Stop it right there. Now, go on, fill up the bowl. Go on! That's it. Now, put on this dress. Put it on! Now, Dance. I regret not going to my junior dance. <laughs> but, Daddy, if you don't do what they say, they'll kill me. Sorry, Pumpkin, you know we don't negotiate with kidnappers. Family policy. Daddy, no! Please, please! She'll be all right. <sighs> Lois has had the car all week, and it's just been hell getting around. I actually had to rent a Mustang. God, I haven't seen everyone this miserable since that time we were tortured. Well, I'm sorry. W w were you just whipping me, or did I just, did I just get bit by a mosquito? Hey, Lois, if, if, you, if you happen to see the dungeon master, can you, can you tell him his grandmother was just trying to work me over? Or I'm a retired baseball umpire who opens a bar. At the center of the earth. You know, we don't get many of you molten rock men in here. Well, at these prices, I'm not surprised. That's it, pal. You are out of here. <laughs> this is my fourth trip today. Just this morning, I went to Kentucky. Wait, 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 wait a second. You're telling me I flew all the way to Kentucky to get some of your fried chicken and, and the colonel isn't even working today? He ain't we, he did. What? I say he did. Is Mr. Sanders in? What wrong with you? I say you, he did. The Colonel! All right, then everyone would get to see me and my wacky antics. Black! God, this is worse than having Ronald McDonald for a father. Bye, Dad. Don't wait up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Lisa. Come back here. You're not going out with all that makeup on. But, Dad... Upstairs. 
You're a McDonald, not a whore. Even better than that dad on Lost in Space. We need to gather more information about this new planet. Don, you take my 16-year-old blonde daughter out in the chariot for the rest of the day. Penny, you stay here with me. And Will, you and the robot go out into the uncharted wilderness and take this mincing boy-hungry pedophile with you. This year I'm gonna try a more natural alternative. Ah, 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 sorry, Dr. Lang, I, I, I guess I'm nervous. This whole thing's a little weird. Ah, never you fear, laddie book. I've been doing this all me life. You see, the reason your fleas are drawn to you is your kidney energy is being blocked by a dark chi, or what we call in my country, we Feng Chao Hu. Hey, Doc, you have to keep those two boxes right next to each other. Why? What do they say? I think we're through here. It'll give me time to catch up on my reading. Oh, usually there are so many distractions. Come into my home, will you? Show you, you bastard. This isn't the first time I've been thwarted by my small statue. Okay, our next lot is number 15 in your program. This is a one-of-a-kind item, a super mega death ray. It's got the power to enslave the entire human race. Do we have an opening bid? Anything? We'll take any bid. It can enslave the human race? Come on, people, it's solid titanium. You, over here in the back! Do I hear $100? Oh, come on. $5? All right, free? Enslave the human race, doesn't cost you a dime. Behind the fat chick. Nope. Go! Okay. <laughs> you never win anything. Remember when you went on password? This one is for Peter Griffin and Tony Randall. The password is flaming. You? Actor. You? Tony? You? A lot of famous people have done it. My son, your place is here in the Ice Village. You know nothing of Hollywood and its ways. But father, I have dreams and courage and the name of an excellent cosmetic surgeon. Fear not, someday word will reach you about the success of me, the great Eskimo actor, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Green to our Just gonna let them recast me? Hey, it could have been worse. They could have gone with plan B. <laughs> Brian, put a mask on. I have an announcement. Meg Griffin's plane was shot down over the Sea of Japan. It spun in. There were no survivors. Who do I see about the Section 8? And you even managed to humiliate me there. <laughs> Whoa, is that really the blood of Christ? Yes. Man, that guy must have been wasted 24 hours a day, huh? Oh, what? A lot of these famous types lead secret lives that we don't even know about. Like Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin, love you! Love you. Ricky, 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 Ricky. One minute to curtain, Jewel. We'll move to England, eh? Worst they got there is, uh, you know, drive-by arguments. I say, Jeremy, isn't that Reginald D. Stiffworth, a young upstart chap who's been touting the merits of a united European Commonwealth? Why, yes, I dare say that's the fellow. Oh, let's get him. Oh, Reginald! I disagree! Oh, God, kill me now. Hello. Karen! This is gonna be my greatest victory ever. Except for the time I defeated my evil twin. Not me, Lois. Shoot him. I'm the real Peter. I don't know. Lois, look at me. You know your own husband, don't you? Thank God. You made the right choice, honey. What was that? Nothing. Lois, you can't quit. What if Kurt Cobain had quit? Thank you. And remember, say no to drugs. Great concert, Kurt. The label's excited about your seventh album. Thanks. Oh, you remember my wife, Courtney Love? Who? Oh, ask your mom. I'm not very good with tough decisions. We'll be closing in two minutes. Next <laughs> Cleveland, there is no mob. You're thinking of the mob in the movies. 
How am I funny? I, I don't know. You, you say funny things. No, no, I mean, I'm, what, am I George Carlin funny? Am I Spin City funny? Rita Rudner funny? What? Come on. Rita Rudner funny. Yeah, Rita Rudner funny. Really? Oh, my God, thank you. You can write off medical stuff? Oh, jeez, if I'd have known that, I wouldn't have used that discount surgeon. Uh, I'm not sure which one to cut here. The red one or the b blue one? Okay, okay, just relax, just relax, let's see. Uh, uh, first, why don't you attach that green one to that purple one? Okay, here goes. Oh, God! That kill me? Uh-huh. Yeah, I was afraid of that. All right, try the green one and the blue one. Come on, we gotta get back. The cameramen think we're taking Chris to soccer practice. We're gonna be late! Why won't you talk to me? Yeah, I was terrified of asking Phoebe Diamond to the prom. I finally got up the guts, but I, I had this damn nervous twitch. Um, F Phoebe? Yeah? Uh, I, I was wondering if, if, if you'd uh, d do me the honor of... Uh... And after my grandfather helped create one of this country's most beloved cartoon characters. Okay, we've narrowed it down to two possible names. Uh, all in favor of Bugs Bunny? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all in favor of Ephraim the Retarded Rabbit. Oh, you can all go to hell. Come on, Lois. Jeez, this is going to be worse than that time we had to sit through your Uncle Jerry's snuff film. Are, are they really going to kill that girl? Peter, please. People are trying to watch. This is Atlantic City all over again. You've got 20. Hit me. Peter, don't. Hit me. 21. Hit me. Peter. Hit me. That's 30. Hit me. Now, now, hold on, Lois. Now, people do a lot of crazy things just to be accepted. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know about this. Hey, we all did it. If you want to be a Supreme Court justice, you got to pick up that cherry with your butt cheeks and drop it in that beer. Come on. Go Come on, do it. Go suit it. Go suit it. Go suit it. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. So in! Hey, I've gotten people to believe crazier things. And if you are pure of heart and deed, you'll all go to a beautiful place called heaven. <laughs> I'm yanking you. You're just rotting the ground. How was your day? Uh, my day? Hey. Hey. You okay there, Mr. Crocodile? Huh? Wake up, wake up, wake up. You need some lotion, Mr. Badskin? Huh? 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 There you go. Ah! 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 Oh, God! Oh, God! Ah! 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 Talking about I'm a born leader. Like my great-great-uncle Ulysses S. Griffin. Juggler! 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 Yeah! Woo! How's that, Robert E. Lee? All right, no more slaves. But we still don't have to read books. Deal. Yeah! The last time he left Dad home alone, he turned the house into a giant puppet. Hey! Hey! Stay out of here. Hey! Nobody, Nobody better, better come in here. I'm, I'm the Griffin's house. house. Bring, Bring me a tool shed, shed or I am hungry. hungry. That's it. Time for Doggy to go the way of Old Yeller. Old Yeller, did I get a call from Tony? Oh, yeah. He, uh, he left a message. I forgot to tell you. Is it on the machine? I erased it. All right. Out back. No, Ma. Yeller's my dog. I'll do it. Oh, come on. He'll call back. If I were big, oh, just think where I would be. Tired of not being able to find clothes that fit? I know I was. That's why I started Stewie's Big and Tall Man Shop. If you're portly or tall, you'll find a friendly atmosphere brimming with personalized and expert service. Hey, Stewie, how's the weather up there? Very fair. Like our prices. And undercover to get rid of the toad problem, so your school can be safe and innocent, like the good old days. Negative B plus or minus radical B squared minus 4AC over 2A. That's correct. A girl answered a math problem. You know what that means. A witch! 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 Well, you might want to bring some cash with you, because, you know, some places don't take credit cards. But, mister, I need real money. I can't take a credit card. Oh, I see. Cash only, eh? Eh? No paper trail, eh? What are you selling? Reefer? Crack? Smack? Horse? X? Shrooms? Dust? Meth? In my neighborhood? I don't think so. 
Chris, you don't want to mess with drugs. I tried them once, big mistake. Things got way too real. Holy crap, I am freaking out. Well, I guess you're not the first person to do whatever it takes to win. You come to me and ask me to kill a man I do not know. Now I ask you, why should I kill this Count Chocula? Because that son of a bitch has been spreading lies. My cereal does not cut the roof of your mouth. With all respect. You know, I was quite a troublemaker myself when I was a kid. Look, you, your parents will be home any minute. Are you sure you don't want me to clean up this mess? No, no, no. Go, go. It'll be funny. Oh, it's when have we ever had trouble communicating? Oh, Peter, I love you. Yeah, about a quarter past five. Maybe a Paul is another one of those things our family doesn't really need. Look, everybody, I got us another dog. What the? Hi, you guys have any cheese doodles? <laughs> See, that's what I do. I ask for a snack and then I blow the horn. You know, before I was married, I led a very exciting life. <gasps> oh, my God. The actress who was the girl in Escape from Witch Mountain. I don't want to go. I had a bad experience with a fish once. <gasps> oh, my God. My fish is gone. And he robbed me. What if something happens to you? I'm too old to start dating again. Okay, bachelor number one. I'm an ice cream cone. How are you going to eat me? I'd invite my friend Rudy over, and the two of us would give you a double dip. Ooh. Okay, bachelor number two. Well, I'd lick off all the cream and give you my special whipped topping. <laughs> Sounds good. Bachelor number three? Well, I would try to eat you really fast before I got flaccid. Ah, so beautiful. It's almost as if this world was created especially for me. You think he's on to us, Kristoff? No, he's an idiot. Hey, hey, at least you have a Dad. When I was growing up, it was just me and my mom. Oh, looks like somebody's hungry. All right. I mean, really, what could possibly happen if you left me home by myself? Great party, Griff. Girls, you know Jimmy Khan. Jimmy, make yourself at home. Hey, thanks. I meant to have a cheese doodle, but whatever, it's a party. Yeah, but it's not her fault. She just doesn't want to see me fall in with a tough crowd again. <gasps> Cavity creeps! We make holes in the teeth. We make holes in the teeth. Wh what'd you do, sell your body to science? Because, uh, you know, I I've thought of doing that. All right, uh, Jenny, would you come up here and show us where the femur is? Right, get out of here, you little bastard. I know this was the right thing to do. My son Chris is in charge of our space program. We hope to get to the moon very shortly. Almost. Ow! They should really use monkeys for this. Peter, we've got to do something. If Meg doesn't get into college, who knows what kind of future she'll have. You ain't getting this meat. This is my meat. Shut up. I found this meat. There have been scandals in politics ever since Thomas Jefferson. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Honey, let's get all the kids in this. Every year she wins and rubs it in my face. Don't worry, sweetheart. There's always next year. Congratulations on second place, Lois. Yeah, I had one when I was in high school. That'll be twenty-seven fifty. I haven't felt this crappy since the time I went to that museum. Why did all the dinosaurs die out? Because you touch yourself at night. I'll tell you, being on this campus really brings back memories. <gasps> Cowards! Well, Brian, at least you're loyal enough to stay with me. Ah, I've stuck by you through worse. Now I know how Barbara Streisand must have felt the day she married James Brolin. I love you. I love you, too. Ah, I'm so glad I married a regular person and not a celebrity. I knew that name. Damn you, Entertainment Tonight! 
Hi, I'm Bob Goen, and these are Mary Hart's legs. Mary, you recently spent some time with Julia Roberts, didn't you? Mary says yes. Last time I did any male bonding was when me and Cleveland went to Chinatown. Look, for forget how it happened. Can you just get us out of this? He's gonna grow up to be quite a man. Mm, that was incredible, Kevin. I'm not here to impress you. Am I, Dad? Did I say you could rest yet? Thing? Oh, oh, you, you mean that growth? Yeah, yeah, I, I had the doctor look at that. Mr. Griffin, that isn't a growth. That's your penis. Oh. Well, what about the, uh... Testicles. Huh. Like your great, great, great uncle, Jabba the Griffin. Raja Nabado, I go la walkie nipple pinchy. Got headphones so I can watch my Steven Seagal movies without waking Bonnie. Yes! Lock and load! Lock and load! Bring on the pain! I mean, I mean, you were pretty bad in bed Saturday night. Come on, Lois, move or something. She's just like doing it with a pillow. Peter, I stayed at my mother's that night. Oh. Especially Stewie. He's so impressionable. Oh, my God, please tell me we didn't do it. Well, you know, when I was your age, we had way better drinking games. Ow! Ah, uh, you drink. We'll probably have to buy a gift. And you know how bad I am when it comes to buying gifts. Happy freaking birthday, Lois. Oh, my goodness. It's a... Huh, another sword. Thank you, Peter. Go ahead. Try it on. Trust me, Chris. Sometimes it's better not to fit in. You're all stupid. See, they're gonna be looking for army guys. I spend my refund on a plug-in playmate. So, a school teacher. That, that must be interesting. First they took our bar, now they're taking our friendship. What's next, apple pie, fast cars, and action films? It was a glorious summer in Oxford when I met Freddie Cavendish, a most remarkable young man whose friendship will change my life forever. You are the anchor that gives my spirit license to soar. Come on, there's worse things in life than rain. Like, uh, like, like spiders. Oh, he's behind the door. <coughs> Pina, he's bothering everyone. Say something. Say something, I'll kick his ass. Someone ought to kick his ass. Don't go in there. Pina. All right, all right, give me a Kleenex. I knew he was bad. I knew it. Ah! Uh, there's nothing these kids learn in school they can't learn on the street. It's 3 o'clock. Where the hell is Louie? Well, you tell me. Louie left his house at 2.15 and has to travel a distance of 6.2 miles at a rate of 5 miles per hour. What time will Louie arrive? Depends if he stops to see his hoe. That's what we call a variable. Oh, come on. You're our best friend, Peter. Besides, I can remember a time when you saved all our butts. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, too bad I didn't get there till after the shot of me. Hey, I'm your man. But I gotta warn you, I made some enemies on the hill. And that's when Clarence Thomas forced me into his chambers and showed me lewd pictures. <laughs> Mr. Griffin, we have indisputable evidence that not only have you never been in the same room as Clarence Thomas, you, you've never been in the same state. How do you respond to that? Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Howard Stern's penis, Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Baba Booey! Oh, yeah. Makes perfect sense, Lois. You know how much time I've spent on the ocean. Wilson! What are we gonna do now? Wilson! Wilson! My name is Voigt, dumbass. Because if I blow this, I'm gonna have to go back to my old job at the electric company. Duh. At. Dot. Buh. Et. Bet. Bet. I, I knew that. Slow it down. Huh. It. Pit. Pit. Uh, come on, pal, it's my first day. Uh. At. Fat. Oh, that's it, buddy. It was more boring than when I was a security guard for George Harrison. Charles in charge of our days and our nights. Charles in charge of our wrongs and our rights. And I say, I want Charles in charge. Hey, 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 hey! Quiet down up there, you wacky beetle. Have the quick stretch first. Ooh, damn. Must have pulled something playing hoops last week. I know you're not putting that rock up from here. You ain't got no J. Yo, 
man, that's trippy. Brother, please, you're the one who's tripping. Go on, cry home to your mama. She waiting for you. Now, don't make me put my size 13s up your narrow ass. I don't sweat you. Bring it on, bitch. Now, how are you gonna act? Sheesh. Bringing that trash in here. This is my house. You know, he's the spokesman for his entire industry. Yes, though I must say, I've always dreamed of a life at sea. I'm the greatest captain of the Queen's Navy. And your record will stand as proof. Be it galleon or freighter, I'm an expert navigator. And you're also a world-class poof. My manner quite defeat is mistaken on the street for a sailor who can pirouette on cue. Well, despite your point of view, I can thrill a girl or two. But I'd rather get it on with you. Ha, ha, ha! Oh, as brothers and sisters fighting is as natural as a white man's dialogue in a Spike Lee movie. What's up? Can I get two slices of pepperoni? It's the most wonderful thing that could happen to this family. Hmm. Now the Phillies won. Oh, man, they got these little plastic disc guns. I haven't seen one of these since Cleveland's wedding. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the joining of these two young people <laughs> in the bonds of holy matrimony <laughs> consecrated before God Almighty. <sighs> oh boy, do we have some good times. Here it comes, buddy! Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! Ah! Oh! What are the odds? Ah! Hey, look at this, Lois. It's our pet rock. Ah, I remember the first day we brought it home. See that? Huh? Huh? Bad rock. Bad. We do that outside. Look at him. He knows what he did. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time you've disrupted a performance. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I didn't see it. It jumped right out in front of my car. Oh, I am so sorry. Wow, that's some nose you got. Yeah, one time it almost got me a spokesman deal. Follow your nose. Follow your nose. Follow your nose. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I No, that, that, that was good. I, I just, I, I didn't think you were going to go so cartoony with it. Well, how, how, how would you read it? Oh, I, I don't know. I was thinking of doing it, you know, good, like, like an actor. But, you know, your, your way's good, too. Talk to me sometime, sweetheart. I know what it takes to be cool. She packed my bags. Last night, pre-flight. Zero hour. 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high. Has a kite by then. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home Oh no, no, no I'm a rocket man Rocket man Burning out his fuse out here Alone And I think it's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home Oh, no, no, no I'm a rock-it man Rocket man Burning out his fuse out here Alone Oh, yeah that's the good stuff. Because a black knight is just a big jerk. Just like that guy who fixed our vacuum. There you go. All fixed. <laughs> Turns out a half-eaten meatball was clogging up the intake. Oh. Well, did you save it? Uh, no. You bastard. I dare say I should embrace the idea of having a little brother. After all, it's obvious we'd make quite a formidable team. <laughs> no, 
Nothing bad ever happens when you're asleep. In fact, sometimes good things can happen. Oh, Jenny. Jenny. Oh, yeah, Jenny, don't stop. Oh, Richard, Jenny, your HBO comedy specials have brought pleasure to millions. And what a sweet ass. Pathetic my life is. I've, I've seen that behind the music with Leif Garrett 18 times. Hey, uh, hey, Leif. Uh, it's been a while. Too long, man. I'm so sorry about everything, man. I I'm so... Ready for a bombshell? You saved my life that night. But, but I was driving. I... I was on a road to destruction, man. The accident may have crippled me, but I'm alive, aren't I? Yeah. Can we turn off the cameras, dude? I'm really cutting loose, just like Julie Andrews in that movie where she showed her breasts. Oh, Mary, you'll never leave us, will you? Yes, those are lovely, but it doesn't quite answer our question. What? Yeah, the new owners gave everyone raises. Even Kenneth, the badass mail clerk with the heart of gold. Hi, Kenneth. Hey, did I get any mail? No, and if you come any closer, I'll slice you. Okay, okay. Man, what a badass. Yeah, well, that badass just gave half his paycheck to orphans. Orphans with diseases. Peter, I'll, I'll make it up to you. I have a cousin who works at Club Med. Me mind on fire. Me soul on fire. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Nigel's charming. All British men are. Yeah, right. That's what they said about Benjamin Disraeli. You don't even know who I am. Whoa, how'd you get that? I spent the night with Mr. Burler. Oh, the sun's up. I'm safe for another night. Thanks, Meg. I, I missed the good old days when you were my sidekick. Uh, so she hated my tie until I told her it was made out of 100% Buttafuoco fiber. Yeah. Yeesh. Yeah. Hey, uh, Brian, how about a little Thai music? Peter's Thai, Peter's Thai, that's because Peter's the guy. All right, that's just a little Thai music. <laughs> yeah. So, Peter, where should we go for your week off? Well, I, I was thinking we could all go to Purgatory like we did last year. This isn't bad. It's not that good, but it's not that bad. It's so-so. Yeah, more or less. I just hope it goes okay. We've had some bad luck with dinner guests. You remember when Margot Kidder was here? Oh, we loved you in the Superman movies. You were just wonderful. <laughs> I've never been defeated. Except once. <laughs> seen you since high school. <laughs> God, well, what are you doing these days? Uh, I'm the red guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, what are you doing? I'm, I'm the green guy. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got... Hey, is that Stacy Beecham? Where? I say, look at me. I feel like a regular grease monkey. Hey, remember that time I had that Mustang? Oh, yeah, you, you took it for the spin that time. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Uh, then those chowder heads on the corner, they busted your stone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your sister say anything about me? I certainly am not overreacting. What the devil do you think happened to Bobby when they added Cousin Oliver to the Brady Bunch? Oliver, did you break this vase? No, the floor did. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Hey, everybody, I... Bobby, you get back in the garage! No! No foul! Oh, that's a stupid call. And I know something about stupid calls. Uh, hello? Uh, Lois, I can't take out the garbage because I'm at the office and, and they're making me stay late. Peter, the caller ID says you're calling from the kitchen. In fact, I can see you. Can you see me now? No. Okay, now I'm at the office. I can't believe your father organized this. Usually he can't even handle simple tasks. Peter? Why is there a diaper in the lamp socket? Ah, oh, Lewis, he's done it again! Wait a minute. Ha! This is great. We haven't done anything together like this since we saw Mike Tyson get beat. All right, Mike. The word again is onomatopoeia. Uh, C. 
I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Oh, dang. Hey, since I became president, profits have been higher than Alyssa Milano. <laughs> what kind of cheap shot, Joel? I'm suing, I'm suing, I'm on it, I'm on it. Exactly what we hey, need. wait a second. Didn't we just make a fat, stupid guy president? You bet we did. Gentlemen, our new tobacco lobbyist is that guy. Diamonds, daisies, snowflakes, that guy. Chestnuts, rainbows, springtime. Is that guy? He's tinsel on a tree. He's everything that every guy should be. Geez, I haven't been to California since I lived with my other family. Guys, I just got invited to a party at Sharon Tate's house. And you guys can come, but you gotta promise not to embarrass me. Peter, I am not a sideshow attraction. At least not anymore. Me like it bouncy! Me like it bouncy! I was totally humiliated in school today. Okay, we're gonna do a little informal survey here, kids. Would those of you who are going away for spring break please move to the left of the room? Oigan, quienes que van a spring break, pasen la izquierda, por favor. Wow, the business world sure is funny. Hey, Dilbert, what do you call it when a guy in middle management moves all the way to upper management? I don't know. What do you call it? A promotion. Oh, thanks. Here's a memo. Well, sometimes the business world's funny. What are you talking about? I'm better than him at everything. You name it, sports, video games, even magic tricks. <laughs> got your nose. Oh, yeah? Well, I got your face. <laughs> Calm down, Chris. It's only a trick. Bastards turned a whole generation of Americans into smokers with their damn subliminal advertising. Timmy, where's Lassie? She's out in the orchard, Ma. Peaches are coming in mighty early this year. Smoke. You know what they say, Timmy. Early peaches, long summer. Smoke. What's that, Lassie? Are you smoking yet? I hope he doesn't wait and get your gift at the last minute again. My goodness, a human thumb. Why did you ever find this? It was on eBay. <laughs> oh, God, call an ambulance. Don't you worry, Lois. I'll set him straight. Just like I did with Chris. Dad, what's the blowhole for? I'll tell you what it's not for, son. And when I do, you'll understand why I can never go back to SeaWorld. Well, I guess it couldn't be worse than last year when we all went to SeaWorld. <laughs> and how long has this been going on? Oh, wow. Imagine me, president. <laughs> Where'd you get these blueprints? Oh, your mother has her ways. She has her ways. Can I have the blueprints to the D'Amico house? Sure, here you go. Oh, yes, I've often fantasized about what this house would be like with more culture. The port is quite good. Yes, quite good. Indeed. Most certainly. What year is it? 51. Ah. Delectable. Indeed. Yes. Oh, dear. What is it? I've spontaneously combusted. Oh, I am sorry. Oh, it's quite all right. I've grown tired of living. Ah, very good then. For the best. Yes, indeed. Oh, is it raining again? I've never gotten that kind of respect before. Great workout, Bobby. Up your sack breath. That's Mr. Griffin. Come on, Lois. When have I not been there for you? Get out of the damn car, now! Screaming you're dead. Thanks for the ride, lady. Yeah, this is gonna be even more exciting than when Brian taught me about Christopher Columbus. Where are we going, Brian? Well, Peter, we're going to visit the year 1492. That's when Columbus set sail on his famous voyage to the New World. Hey, we're on a ship! That's right, Peter. This is the Santa Maria, one of three ships Columbus took to find a direct route to India. Any sign of India yet, fellas? Nothing yet, Captain! India? But I thought Columbus was going to America. On the contrary, Peter, Columbus discovered America entirely by mistake. Wow! Don't think I could have been any clearer the last time I turned him down. Ray, your mother insulted my steak pozzola. Again. Neil Goldman of Quahog, Rhode Island. Leave me alone! I hate you! 
I hate you! Anyway, your mother insulted I don't care anymore, Patty. After nine seasons, I just don't care. Maybe you could try not being a bitch. I don't understand why I have to babysit Stewie. I mean, what's he really going to do if we leave him by himself? And now to test my teleportation pods. <gasps> oh, damn! <laughs> ah, I'm a monster! Never going to be remembered for anything. Not like my great-great-uncles, the Siamese twins who fought each other in the Civil War. I'm seceding, like hell you were! Not too smart, huh? Yeah, did not think that one through. Hey, can I say hi to a friend of mine? Uh, sure. Hi, Jesus. No way. Hello? I know, I saw. Come on, buddy, you owe me. Huh? You remember what I did for you last week? Sighing softly to the river comes the loving breeze. Setting nature all a quiver, rustling through the trees, through the trees. <sighs> all right, I'll go. Come on, Lois, he doesn't have the wild streak you had when you were younger. For God's sake, you used to make plaster molds of celebrity body parts. Okay, Daryl, it's almost dry. <laughs> Very nice, by the way. This one's going on the shelf right next to Dan Fogelberg. Hey, Lois, am I up next? Just wait in your dressing room. I'll come back for you, Oats. I'm not coming back for Oats. I got the idea from when Brian had to wear that cone after his operation. Okay, okay, if I make this, we're all gonna get laid. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! Score! Score! Boy, I'd really like to chew on my crotch right now. Oh, Peter, we've tried every theme we could think of, and everything's failed, especially that uh, Coyote Ugly theme. I'm not going to avoid Peter like the drunk chick at a party. I just smoked the wrong side of a cigarette! Who wants to go swimming? Oh, this song is about me! Ah, oh, jeez, that's more of a rip-off than that breakfast machine I bought. Shoot you! It doesn't make breakfast at all! Ah! Boy, I haven't been this creeped out since I saw that episode of Star Trek. Number one. Yes, Captain. Let me ask you something. If I whispered in your ear that Commander Worf's head looks like a fanny, would you join me in a laugh? Yeah, I could get in on that. All right. Here it comes. Commander Wolf's head looks like a fanny. <laughs> you can both suck my ridges. Oh, get a sense of humor, Rocky Dennis. Wow, that sounds even better than when I got paid to take part in that study. Hmm, the only one who couldn't finish the puzzle is the fat one. I'm sorry, I can't see what you're going for here. Well, uh, let me look at... Oh, it's a jar of preserves. Oh, yeah, I guess that's what all the red pieces were, huh? And Meg even went on a date with the announcer from the Super Friends. Meanwhile, under Meg Griffin's bra... <laughs> Don't be so sure, Brian. I've slept with chicks all over the world. Who knows? I could have kids in their 20s. ¿Dónde demonios estabas? Es más de la una y media de la mañana. Eso no significa que no Giggity puede vivir. Maldita sea, Giggity. A veces me pones furiosa. No puedo hablar contigo, Giggity, cuando te pones así. Me voy a ver los toros, Giggity, Giggity, Giggity. My God, nobody can be this stupid. Not, not, not even Peter when he took that blow to the head and thought he was Larry from Three's Company. Jack, there's a hot tub party across the street and we're invited. Oh, and don't worry, if uh, Mr. Furley comes by, I'll make sure he thinks you're... <laughs> How did you get on the show? Uh, I had to do a few favors. Oh, I gotta get on that show. Come on, I'll do anything. Anything? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, check under the bed. Nope, nothing. Check in the closet. Nope, no monsters in here. Now check the bathroom. Nope, none in here either. Okay, good. So can I be on The Bachelorette? Yeah, good night. I tell you, this is worse than when they took away my library card for reading while intoxicated.
Oh, don't be ashamed of your hand, Johnny Tremaine. You still live in exciting times. Oh, crap. Sir, do you know how loud you were reading? The life of a silversmith's apprentice was not an easy one. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Brian on a date, hmm? Well, that'll be more pathetic than that game of Marco Polo I played with Helen Keller. Marco. 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 Damn, I'm terrible at meeting new people, like the time I was on blind date. I'm having a great time, Stewie. Me too. So, uh, you ready to go grab some za? Uh, yeah. So, a wild guess here, but from the looks of your arm hair, I'm guessing you're Italian? You're a hero. No, Lou Gehrig was a hero. Excellent. As soon as I release this biological toxin into the world's water supply, I will rule the world. I'll call it Lou Gehrig's disease. I just have to remember to make sure this cap is screwed on tight. Well, I guess the joke's on me. This ought to be more interesting than that time I met Ted Danson. Wow, Ted Danson and Mary Steenburgen. Hey, always nice to meet a fan. Oh, shoot. I forgot my umbrella. That's okay, honey. Come on over here. Thanks, dear. Sometimes it's good to be a freak. Hey, do you want to sleep together later? Oh, no. No, no. Thanks, though. Finally, I'm one of those guys who can't wait to get to work in the morning. Like a dairy cow. Ah! Oh! <gasps> Oh, yes! Yes! Oh! This is turning out worse than Stewie's iPod commercial. He gave me DVDs. The production values were amazing. Much better than Kramer vs. Predator. You want him back? You can't just disappear for three months and then suddenly decide you want him back. You can't have him. Murder? Well, this is a bigger surprise than that time Peter vanished into thin air. Hey, Stewie, peekaboo. Yes, I see you, fat man. <gasps> Where's Daddy? What? Where did you go? Oh, this is impossible. I, I, I can hear you, but I can't see. Well, he must really be gone. Peekaboo. Ah, how the hell did you do that? Look, I thought you disappeared, otherwise I wouldn't have picked my... Oh, great, leave when I'm right in the middle of a sentence. Oh, God, I'm screwed. This is worse than that time I had to fess up to the nation. My fellow Americans, I have not been entirely truthful with you. I did gagoogity that girl. I geschmoigadied her geflavity with my googus. And I am sorry. I feel awful. Why don't you come on over and we can try to get things back to the way they used to be? Remember how it was? Perhaps here there are many unsuspecting foxes to have sex with us. That is why we wear a tight pants to show our bulges. We are two, two wild, wild and crazy, crazy guys. guys. You guys look stupid. Oh my god, he's gone. Ooh, that means this room is mine now. Oh, I'm gonna party my ass off in here. Great pot, Stewie. Yeah, I got it from our cleaning lady's boyfriend. It's okay, though, because she's gonna use the money to get a mammogram. I just bought us some new sheets at Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, boy, I hope you stayed away from that Beyond section. Ah! Oh, here are the coffee mugs. I hope I don't make any social faux pas like I did at Pamela and Tommy Lee's dinner party. Hi, sorry I'm late. I was visiting my aunt in the hospital. She has hepatitis. Ooh, sorry. Oh, wow, I feel like an explorer, just like my ancestor, Ponce de Leon Griffin. There it is, boys, the fountain of youth, just like I told you. Well, that was worth the eight-year boat ride. Wow, no Griffin's been this powerful since my ancestor, King Arthur Griffin. Oh, Arthur, if you are able to draw the sword from the stone and prove to me you truly are the sole king of Camelot, I will make love to you right here in the clearing. What if I can just move it an inch? Will you touch me? The second, Lois, that's what we need. We'll go on a second honeymoon. <gasps> Peter, that's a wonderful idea. Yeah, we'll be just like the honeymooners. One of these days, Alice, one of these days. Yeah, yeah, I know, Ralph, right to the moon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Huh? I almost got an ulcer after you shelled out 200 bucks for tickets to cross and over with John Edward. I'm sensing an A. Does your name begin with an A? No. A B? No. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. P! Peter! My name's Peter! Is your name Peter? Wow, you are some kind of sorcerer. This is worse than that Winona Ryder thing. Uh. Are you saying I'm a klepto? Well, uh, actually, I was talking about the age of innocence. It is settled, May. Our parents have consented, and you and I are to be married on the first warm, sunny day of spring. That would be most good, Newland. Most good. <sighs> I'm sorry, but she, she is just awful. Is there any way, I mean, can we add, like, a topless scene or something? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. We can? Oh, great. All right, we got a movie. Okay, now don't wander too far, kids. You know, more children get kidnapped at the grocery store than anywhere else. Hey! Ah, you got me! Oh, not quick enough. <laughs> not quick enough, no. no. I was close, though. You were close. Believe me, Peter does stupid things all the time. That's why he got fired from that airline. Coffee for you, Captain Griffin? Thank you, stewardess. Um, hey... Where are we right now? Uh, on an airplane? No, this room. What is this room called? The flight deck? No. Control room? No. Cockpit? <laughs> oh, 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 God, I told you I'd get her to say it. Oh, 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 God. All right, go on, get out of here. Is she coming back? I don't know. <laughs> And the other night I had to do, uh, well, you know, that thing that you usually do for me every Thursday night. Something good, something good. Oh, uh, you really dazzled that rep from the Cincinnati office last week. That is sensational. You really made me feel confident about those numbers. Listen, if you're ever looking for a change of scenery, we could sure use a fellow like you in Cincinnati. That was you in disguise. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Fine, it wasn't. Ha! It was! Oh, what a feeling. Oh, this is even better than that time I met Timer, the cheese guy. A hanker for a hunk of a slammer slice of junker. A hanker for a hunk of cheese. When you get up and go has got up and went. Howdy, partner. Uh, yeah, pardon me, sir. I live next door. Uh, it is 3.30 in the morning. I, I am very tired. Look, a wagon wheel! What the hell is your problem? I just smoked a whole bunch of crack! Yeah, I remember when I became a man. The operation was a success. What are you going to go by now? Peter. Oh, man, that's the best idea since they faked the moon landing. Okay, cut. Wow, Neil Armstrong! Hey, wait a minute. You're supposed to be on the moon. I just saw it on TV. Oh, there's a, uh, yeah, no, a tape delay and uh, with all uh, solar winds. <laughs> yes! Uh, this is more exciting than that time I got to ride the washing machine. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I'll carve out a niche as the effeminate male friend of the popular girls. Okay, tonight's my OC party. I got a case of wine coolers so we can drink every time Ryan seethes. Cool, I'd love to come. Me too. How'd you get the wine coolers? No, oh, it's not. I just did some stuff for a guy in the parking lot. Does anyone have any scope? My God, I haven't been this exhilarated since Brian took me to see Les Miserables. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. There will be a slight change in the cast tonight. Oh, no. For this evening's performance, the role of Jean Valjean will be played by Kirk Cameron. Oh! Oh, unbelievable! Oh, my God! How lucky are we, huh? Hey, Stewie, what are you doing tonight? Oh, nothing. Just watching Kirk Cameron play Jean Valjean. Oh, my God! Curtain up! Oh, man. I haven't been this upset since I watched The Blob on television. Look out behind you, lady! It's the blob! I'll save you! Oh, man, I can't believe I'm sleeping with a model. I'm luckier than the state of Rhode Island. Well, I can't decide what to call this place. We'll flip a coin. All right, heads, Rhode Island. Tails, Cockapoopoopipishire. Wow, imagine what a genius like me could do with all that money. All right, Cloris Leachman, I've bought you legally. Now, juggle these beanbags. I don't know how to juggle. God help you, Cloris, juggle a beanbag! I hear you're ruining everyone's good time, like Peter did when he used to entertain terminally ill kids. Hi there, how y'all doing? 
All right, so I'm at the DMV the other day. Long lines, long lines at the DMV. But uh, you'll find out all about that when you get old. Oh, uh, uh, moving on. So uh, I finally tried Viagra and... Uh, Ow! Oh, we got a joker in the audience there. You uh, you got something you want to say there, uh, Mr. Heckler? Dying hurts. Tell me about it. So anyway, who hates flying? Meg, you, you remember when you found out your gynecologist never finished med school? All right, Meg, let's take a look at that vagina. Well, it's not often we get to meet celebrities. Yeah, except when I was Christina Aguilera's manager. Okay, uh, l l let me just go ahead and stop you right there. Y you sound terrible, all right? Y you're doing this thing, which is just, uh, you know, what, what the hell is that? I mean... Hey, and, and you look like if I touched you, you'd be sticky, and frankly, you smell bad. You're pretty much offensive to all five senses. That's only four. Well, uh, actually, you know when you smell something and it gets stuck in there and you can sort of taste it? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm tasting you right now, and it tastes awful. Truly disgusting, like salty garbage. Yeah, I totally taste it. You really care about a man who used to try and pick up girls at the Miss USA pageant? Hey, how's it going? I'm Peter. You want to go out sometime? Maybe you got a Saturday night free? Uh, yeah, you know what? To hell with you, then. Yeah, go to hell. Go to hell. Hey, I'm Peter. And what do you say you and me go get a couple of beers, yeah? Maybe we could... Ah, oh, fine. You know what? You got mosquito bite boobs anyway. I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't need you. Hey, how are you? I'm Peter. I got a coupon for Sizzler with your name on it. You know, maybe the two of us get you... Ah, you know what? I don't care. You're a bitch. I can do that. I'm a smart guy. I once built that time machine out of a DeLorean. All right, past. Here I come. Everybody in 1955 was on fire. I never knew that. <laughs> that guest list is more exclusive than the Garden of Eden. So basically, you can eat from any tree you want except this one. Can we sit underneath it? You know, I would just not go near it at all. Well, well, why not uh, uh, Ronald Reagan? He was always fun, especially in his later years. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Tear it down. Reagan smash! Reagan smash! What's that? Oh, it's just Reagan. Just leave him alone. He'll tire himself out. Reagan sleepy. Like the time my agent dropped that bomb on me. No one in this town will hire you. Oh, yeah? Taxi! Chris, I'm just as serious as I was when I saw Paul Reiser do stand-up. What's the deal with airline food? I mean, is this stuff bad or what? Oh, that's not nice. Those chefs work really hard. And what's with those Starbucks, huh? They're everywhere. Uh, a lot of people want coffee. That's supply and demand. It's the foundation of our entire economy, Paul. And who do I talk to about those long lines at the ATM? That's what I want to know. Uh, not me, Mr. Reiser. Someone who has time to fritter away, but not me.
also healthy for couples to have shared activities. So, since you like golf, I thought we could play around. So, so what do I do? Just aim for the pond? No, you're not supposed to hit it into the water. But you hit it into the water. I know I hit it into the water. Well, why do they even have water if you're not supposed to hit it there? Because it's fun! We're having fun! Ah! Look, it went further than your ball. Help! Officer, there's a lady being raped in that alley. Okay, hold on. Let me do a small dippy bob turn. I couldn't be sure, but oh, I think the man has a knife. Are there any steps leading to that alley, or is it just a series of gentle ramps? Hey, can you buy us some beer? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it'd be right. Ugh, I knew you weren't cool. Well, no, 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 hold on a minute. See, this is pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I guess, but what we could really use is some weed. I think that might be over the line. See, I told you this guy wasn't cool. Oh, no, no, hold on a minute. Mr. Griffin, did you or did you not distribute alcohol and marijuana to minors? No, Your Honor, I did not. Told you this defendant wasn't cool. Oh, no, 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 hold on a minute. Some sad news this morning as 38 school children drowned with their... Oh, oh, excuse me. When their school bus hit a patch of ice and drove off a local... Oh, oh. Oh, what is wrong with me today? <laughs> and drove off a local bridge. And now the viral video of the week with over 7 million views. We've got Opera Penguin. <laughs> is, it, is that it? Is he going to do it again? No? Okay, cut back to me. But you, you can't? The button broke off? All right, well, a U.S. convoy was ambushed in Kabul this morning. So now we're going to have a moment of silence in remembrance of... Oh, he does do it again. It's back! I heard, Peter! I heard! Kids! Kids, it's happening! Get your coats! This is what we practiced for! Yeah! I love you, Dad! I love you too, sweetheart! None of the past matters! What about you, Meg? What'd you do this week? What, so you can make fun of me? No, Meg, I'm your father, and I'm interested in what my daughter did this week. You promise you're not going to make fun of me? Of course, Meg, I care about my family. But I feel like you're drawing this out, so when you do make fun of me, it'll hurt more. What? But well, it hurts, Meg. You know, you can be very hurtful. I'm asking you, please. And you don't have to tell me. I want to know because I'm interested. What you did this week, it enhances my life to know how yours is going. You promise. Okay, well, now you owe me an apology. I'm sorry. I'm not used to you wanting to know. I, of course, I'd love to tell you what happened. Then by all means, I, it's just upsetting when you thumb your nose at the family. But I love you, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Please, I'd like to hear. Oh, okay. Well, this is actually kind of funny. I joined the TSA. Into the show. Banana Family Guy. Nana start the credits. Lots of little names. Nya, 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 gay. What's up, my sisters? Ooh, I ain't sat down in a hot minute. What the hell? Why are you talking like that? Sorry, I have family in town. We now return to another Michael Jordan underwear commercial on a plane for some reason. Does your underwear have tags? Uh, what? Uh, Mr. Jordan, you're going to have to take your seat and stop asking people about their underwear. Okay, Brian, you can do this. Hey, Meg. Hi, Meg. Hey, how's it going? My locker. Meg, I thought we were going to try to work on that. Hey, other teens. How about our youth culture, am I right? All the new hairs we're getting? Yeah, I guess. Wow, I can't believe this worked. I was afraid I'd stick out. Like the one guy in Lincoln's cabinet who didn't have a beard. I want to win this war, and I want to do it fast. Ideas? We should beat the rebels head-on in Virginia. We could also use our troop advantage to outflank them in the West. Uh, what did that baby just say? Brian has a brain tumor. <gasps> oh my god! There's only one thing to do. Shrink down to microscopic size, enter Brian's brain, and destroy the tumor from within. <laughs> I was raped by a bug. Don't worry, Meg. I'm always here to help, like a 1960s British policeman. Officer, me child's been kidnapped! Calm down, ma'am. It's all under control. I've got a whistle, a cloth helmet, a key to a coal box, a soft rubber truncheon, and a map of the city. Please, hurry! Oh, I don't much like your tone. That's a tiny pencil and pad citation for you. He made it! Your dog is in orbit! He's wonderful! How do we get him back now? Oh, about that, we do not. Oh, my poor dog! He will die up there!
Joke on them. I find happy dog planet. In 50 years, we all go back to Earth and bite everybody. All right, guys, this will be the headquarters for our new detective agency. This milk crate will be my chair. This overturned rain barrel will be my desk. And this DNA evidence centrifuge and fingerprint scanner will be my coat rack. Piece of junk. I guess all our detective agency needs now is a name. Well, we're detectives solving children's crimes. There's only one name that makes sense. Dicks for kids? Dicks for kids. But wait, we want people to know we're grown-ups. Okay, big dicks for kids. Oh, we don't want to sound too old. They're going to think we're a bunch of old bald geezers. Big hairy dicks for kids. How are we going to let them know we're veiny? Hey, kid, you know anything about a tricycle that just got stolen from the park? No, sir. I've been sitting here for the last three hours selling lemonade. Would you like a nice cold glass? Why, sure. You couldn't have been here for three hours on this, the hottest day of the year, or the ice cubes in your pitcher would have melted. Oh. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say... Peter, Peter, we can't arrest them. If anything, they can arrest you. After all, I'm the guy who taught old Asian people how to get on the subway. Ah! Out of the way! Nobody else matters! All right, you made it. Now twirl that long hair sticking out of your face mole. And cough. Cough like you never coughed before. <laughs> this is Mistress Vida. We met on Craigslist. No talking unless I say... Hi, Peter. How'd she know your name? Peter, I are you just trying to take a knee until the end of the show? Peter, that's not gonna work. You can't... All right, come on, hurry up, Brian. I don't want to miss the movie trivia slides before the movie. Peter, those questions are the easiest, most pandering things in the world. Oh, oh, Tim Hawks, Tim Hawks, Forrest Gump, I win. Ho? Oh? All right, someone's coming to town. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, all right, period movie. Oh, not a period movie. Oh, this guy's in trouble. Can't wait to hear his story. Oh, come on! Oh, and, and I like I like King Ralph, because cause that's, that's the last guy you'd expect to be king of nothing. Hey, shut up! Hey, I'm, I'm not the only one talking. That, that big guy up there on the screen has been talking through the whole movie. Hey, jerk! Hey, you keep it down! Uh, down! Move! Stop blocking the screen, you jerk! Hey, I don't think you heard me, buddy. Step away from the young lady. All right, I am zeroing. You asked for it. We got a report of a disturbance. Oh, what the hell, Peter? Joe, thank God, there's a situation here. I've got a sore finger. I don't give a crap. We got bigger problems. 30 days of Alcoholics Anonymous. Well, Your Honor, in that case, I'll have to call my surprise witness, Mr. Sockerby. Mr. Sockerby, before we begin, have you ever been convicted of a felony? Yes, but that bitch had it coming. Ah, okay. Uh, Your Honor, I'm, I'm afraid I have to withdraw this witness, and I am going to those things you said I have to go to. I don't need to go to AA. I'm a social drinker, not an alcoholic. Tuh, yeah, that's like saying rappers are really poets. I'm not saying she's a gold digger, but she's not messing with... Who isn't she messing with? I was responsible for the death of an innocent eight-year-old girl. What kind? What? What kind of car? You said you had a sports car. That's cool, but what kind? It was a Miata. Oh, come on. That's not a sports car. How, how does that even kill a kid? What, what'd, you, what'd you hit her over the head with it? That's a legitimate sports car. Nope. Next. Oh, yeah, I got one. This one time, me and Joe and Quagmire made a bet to see who could drink the most beer and still drive. And you, you know that water slide in South Attleboro? Hey, people got along just fine for thousands of years without AA. Just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Hey, did you hear about that magic baby that was born in Bethlehem? Brian, AA's been around for years. It's helped a lot of people get over their addiction. Oh, it hasn't. They've just traded one addiction for another. Their life goes from being all about drinking to being all about AA. The only difference is, when it's all about drinking, they're more fun. Well, like it or not, you gotta stick it out for 30 days. And then this one time, I was so drunk, I gave someone a back adjustment. I'm not a chiropractor. You gotta go to a weekend of school for that. Hey, hey, anyone in the house addicted to alcohol? 
Hi. Hello, Peter. I enjoy alcohol. I can't hear you! Hello. I have a very serious problem. Yeah, you all stopped drinking because you were hurting your loved ones. But you can't hurt them if they don't know you're drunk. Let's make this our sanctuary. I won't me that beer. <laughs> so I flicked on it, and the, the girl's got a bigger wang than I got. No way! No way, right? So I did. So I just put my thumb over it, and then and that got me through the rest of of the of the session. Transform. <laughs> Alright, what the hell's going on in here? We got a noise complaint. Yo, shh. Peter's about to start. Well then cleanse yourself, my son. Cleanse yourself. One time I took a library book out and I fell asleep reading it and I left it under the bed. I forgot about it for three and a half years. I was gonna take it back on Amnesty Day, but on Amnesty Day I had a sip of rose wine and I never made it out of the house. I wanna testify, I wanna testify. Well come forward, dear brother, and testify. I used to be a soda pop guy, then I switched to the bottle. Now I don't leave my couch and I've seen every movie ever. You name a movie, I've seen it. Meet Dave. Seen it. The Iger Sanction. Seen it. Donovan's Reef. Seen it. License to Drive. Definitely seen it. Now alcohol makes a big man small and can lead to a life of crime. Yeah! Demon rum makes a gin a bum and you cash him before your time. Yeah! Bootleg gin puts you in a spin till you don't even know your name. Yeah! You're a basket case flat on your face and there's only one guy to blame! This poor gentleman used to speak in long, eloquent sentences. But after years of drinking, he can only speak in short, choppy utterances. Why, at one time, if you asked him who his favorite musicians were, he'd say, Leonard Bernstein, Johann Sebastian Bach, and Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. But thanks to that old devil hooch, it's all changed. Who's your favorite musician, Ollie? Cher! He doesn't even like Cher. Don't mess with B-O-O-Z-E, cause that spells booze, and you're gonna lose with Mr. Booze. Oh, yeah. Don't mess around with Mr. Booze. Wow, you guys, I'm impressed that you're taking your sentence so seriously, and I know that the court will be happy to hear this, too. Now, if you'll just keep it down so I don't get any more complaints. Sure, no problem, Joe. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah! Come on, Brian, you ready to go home? Uh, no, Peter, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna meet Jenny's cats. What are you talking about? You hate cats. I'm going to meet for cats. Yes, all right, okay, all right. You don't have to get all cat. Hey, hey, cat dog, right? You're a cat dog. A cat dog. Cat dog. A life when it's not a cat dog. So, what do you say, guys? Should we take this party to Denny's and hang out with the cast of the high school play? Nah, I think I'm, I'm just gonna go home. All right. You okay to drive? Oh, yeah, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll crank the heat, roll up the windows, and blast the lullaby channel. I'll be fine. All right, take it easy. All right, you too. Get out of here. Hey, like your jeans. Thanks. What, what size are you? Yeah, I don't think we're the same size. Yeah, we'll figure it out tomorrow. Cat dog. Well, what, what if they what if they want to marry different people? You got a lawsuit on your hands. That's what that's what happened. All right, we, all right, look, let's get some music going on in here. Where's the lullaby channel? A gentle breeze. <laughs> What happened? You're dead, jackass. You died in a drunk driving accident. Oh, God, did I hold on to the touchdown pass? What the... What's wrong with you? You know what? I was so drunk, my ghost is drunk. Look, I've been told I can give you another chance, but there's some things we have to do first. What's this? This is the bathroom at my work. That's right. And there you are in the stall with your boss, Angela. What? Oh, my God, Angela, that would... That was so, that felt so good. All I want to do is please you, Griffin. Well, that, that was a good idea you had, dunking your hand in the toilet. Ooh. All right, family, line up for cigar burns. Ah! No! No! Wait a minute, who are you? I'm your other son, Macorba, here for my cigar burn, good sir. Stewie, go on, get out of here, you stupid laughing cry, effing cry. What's the difference? Okay, get ready for this. Hey, 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 gang. Everybody line up for a Triple H, a hug, a handshake, or a high five. Your call. Lois, hug, you got it.
Stewie, hug, two in a row. Who the f is this jerk? It's you, Peter. Alcohol free. <laughs> hey, look, there's Joe and Quagmire. Hey, let's have a drink with him. You've never touched a drop, Peter. You don't even know those guys. Those are your friends over there. Hey, do you guys mind keeping it down? We're trying to have a conversation here. Some people, gee whiz. This is even worse than the other one. I mean, it's cool I know French, but Dad, this ain't me. What am I supposed to do? If I'm a drunk, I'm a jerk, and if I'm sober, I'm a douche. Exactly, Peter. It's called moderation. You don't have to give up the booze, cold turkey. You just have to be responsible with it. We did it with Justin Long, didn't we? America said no, but we kept at it. All right, Death. I'll try. <laughs> Hey, how, how come we're the only animals with poo that's white? I know. What the hell? Right? We're not we're not eating white stuff. Hey, you want something good? Just look for the containers that say KFC on them. There's always something good in there. Dude, that's birds in there. You're e you're eating another bird. What? That's bird meat, dude. R what? No. You're eating a bird. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> well, we're home. 30 days of sobriety, and we can finally drink again. Oh, for God's sake, Peter, didn't you learn anything from this? Yes, I did, Lois. These are going in the garbage. But these, I'm keeping for myself. Moderation, Lois. Wow, Peter, I never thought I'd see the day. Good for you. Ah, oh, damn, which one's a Chinese one? That's probably it. You stop make bing bong. Every bing bong, two cent. What you want? Uh, yeah, I'm here to pick up my cleaning. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. That's what I wanted you to think. What are you talking about? Yeah, I scammed you, man. Took you for a ride, Jack. You thought you were a big wheel till you found out squares don't roll, man. Dig this, Hepcat. The stew man spun you round like a Bill Evans 45. Wait, what's happening? I'll tell you what's happening, Brian. The whole family's becoming Jack Kerouac's insufferable friends. No one wants us at their apartment party, you dig? Get hip to that daddy or skit scat out of the house. And yeah, we don't know how to end these shows anymore, so we just do nonsense. Ugh, this is a bad idea. But I guess sometimes Fox has bad ideas, huh? Let's all just sit here for a moment and remember that this was a thing. I'm in! Yeah, thanks, Quagmire. Oh, wow, this would be great. Hey, can you make us X-Men? What a surprise. Man, this is gonna be a fun day. Much better than that day I tried tag body spray for sick cats. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ew, ew, ew. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, no, no, you're cute. You're cute. I, I, I don't want to pet you, though. Uh, uh, oh, all right. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, what are you going to do? Oh, uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, oh, no, okay. No, yeah, no, this, this spray is not for me. Boy, am I going to enjoy this meal. Not like last night when I didn't have time to poop before the guests arrived. Do I have time? You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Son of a bitch! Looks like I'm gonna have to pile dinner on top of that. Hey, guys! How are ya? Come on, guys. This is trespassing and it's against the law. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, I tried that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. <laughs> Not overly affectionate. Hey, did you get the license plate of that handsome guy who ran me over last night? Ha <laughs> ha, clever. So, is there anything we need to talk about? I don't know. Is there anything we need to talk about? I guess not. Well, I guess not, too. Thanks, RB. Back at you, RB. We just clicked together. Like all the pieces in Chris's first model set. Okay, lay out the pieces, find the cockpit, open the glue, take a sniff. <sighs> And this will be my life now. Ugh, just what we need, another girl. You said it. Wow, 
I'd like to play doctor with her and, and remove her inflamed appendix before it bursts, causing sepsis. Giggity, giggity, giggity. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, what the hell are you doing? I can't sleep, Lois. I'm too excited for my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> Peter, would you get in the damn bed? I'm gonna have the best birthday party ever. I gave out all my invitations yesterday. Hey, Chris, um, I was wondering if you'd like to come to my party tomorrow. Thanks, Dad. I'd love to. Yeah. Oh, no. M-E-G. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Uh, nothing. Sports. Birthday sports. No, just sports. Oh, okay. Maggie and not invited to my party. I did it! I killed her! She's dead! <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Mommy! 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 Oh, yeah, that's right. Come on, Stewie, we're going. Just a moment, Brian. I'm pretending I'm a fireman. I love playing pretend. My name's Peter, and I work in the brewery. Now I'm going to put on my pants and go talk to my co-workers that these pants have stool in them. Well, Chris and Meg are off to school. Guess it's just you and me now. You want a popsicle? Huh? Breakfast popsicle? Whoa, there's vodka in here. Now what? Uh, now what? Now what? What did you want? Wait. Uh, all right, let's go play in the hot yard. I'm two and a half hours late for preschool. You did? Wait, who wants milk? L let me quick just check in the freezer. <laughs> you, you burger, it, here's your veggie burger. It, 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 it'll, it'll thaw out. It, you'll suck on it. It'll thaw out nice. All right, I'm out of here. Uh, this is a perfect amount of drunk for a filet of fish. Peter, do we have to watch this? This is what rednecks watch, Brian. Peter, that's disgusting. Here, spit in this cup instead. Oh, there's my apple juice. Stewie, wait, don't... Where's my money? You gonna give me my money? Ah, uh, never mind. Ahem. <laughs> okay. I'm going to walk through the house and make sure everything's cat-friendly. Okay, this is a problem right here, kind of in this whole area. Your front windows are west-facing. That's good. We'll make for very cozy afternoon sun naps. Still getting a pretty bad vibe from over here. Lastly, catnip is a Class B narcotic. It is a drug. It is a drug. Yeah, we don't, we don't keep any of that stuff around. Look, this is going to sound racist, but... Stop. No, no, hear me out. It's just stop. All I'm saying is... Stop. It's just stop. Norwegians can't dance. Oh, that's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. It is clearly he has not seen me dance around the Skansen tree on Jalafton. For true, yeah? Yeah, we can do hopping like Lutefisk in the almond pot. Family guy, we googled Norway for this joke. Okay, Stewie, this is favorite Belarusian children book called Good Night Moon of Chernobyl. Good night, Chernobyl moon. Good night, radiation house. Good night, melted phone. Good night, glowing milk. Good night, bleeding grandpa's eyes. Good night, two-headed cat. Good night, nobody. Good night, blocks and blocks and blocks of nobody. The end. Next book, Everybody Poops, Blood. Thanks for having us over. Yeah, it's a wonderful dinner. And on this beautiful new china, you guys have a lot of new stuff. Yeah, Lois has been splurging her ass off. Yeah, she has. You know, she bought me something yesterday, but uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I want you to guess. So just cl close your eyes. Oh! Oh! It's a sucker horn! I know what it is! I want to be a mayor in real life. So I'm here to ask you to make me the mayor of your town. Vote for me, Adam West. It'll be a home run. Oh, God. 
It'll be a home run. <coughs> okay, fine. But you should know, the day I bought this metal detector was the happiest day of my life. Well, obviously the second happiest. Big whoop, I can do that. Oh my god, Erica! You killed Erica! Fantastic. Stewie, I really am sorry about what happened. Oh, don't mention it. I'm just glad to have the whole mess behind us. So what'd you end up doing with those old robots anyway? Well, I just left them out on the curb for the trash man. How can this not be a trap? Sweet. Which movie should I start with? Backdoor Sluts 4. Eh, I haven't seen the first three. I wouldn't know what's going on. Here we go. I want to watch all of these movies non-stop. I don't want to watch any more of these movies ever. What will you be having, sir? Yes, I'll have what I had last time, pheasant on the glass. Don't you mean pheasant under glass? Nope. <laughs> yeah, now turn around and lay an egg on the glass. Ah, oh, yeah. I defy you to tell me exactly what's wrong with this. Holy moly, Marshy Miller! She bought feminine products at my dad's pharmacy, so you know she's up and running. Yeah, I wish I had the guts to talk to her. Talk to her? Chris, no one talks to each other anymore. If you want to get a girl's attention, you text her a picture of your penis. What? Really? Are, are you sure? Oh, yeah. People who send their daughters to public high schools are basically asking for this. Well, I did just get this new phone from my dad. All right. What could go wrong? It worked out great for... Come on, I know it seems hard, but we can't just give up. I mean, what if Thomas Edison had given up? Uh, what's that? W what's that thing you're working on? Well, it's a light bulb and... A light bulb! Light bulb! Yeah, I invented that! Me! I'm Thomas Edison! I invented the light bulb! Uh, what to do? It lights up a room using electrical... Lights up a room using electrical stuff! I was about to say that because I invented it! Uh, what are you working on? It's a phonograph. Phonograph! Right? I knew that because I invented it. I'm Thomas Edison. I rule! Look it up. Edison was a dick. This <laughs> 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 man! What are you doing up here? I need you to take the trash out. You know what? I'm gonna use this Peter doesn't have to take out the trash coupon that I got for my anniversary. You gave that to yourself. I don't know, it says official. Oh, forget it, I'll do it myself. This whole attic business is ridiculous. Hey guys, check it out. I'm a lady. Joe, you hit a home run with that. I wanna try it. Bonnie? Joe, how did you find me? Love is a powerful compass. Anytime I quiet my mind and clear my heart, it always leads me to you. Plus, Dirtbag here has a chip in his ear. I do? Damn it, no wonder Peter's so good at hide-and-seek. You're under the canoe in Quagmire's yard. Son of a bitch! Gretchen? Wow, you look great! Yeah, I didn't have kids. Oh, yeah, of course. But what the hell are you doing here? I haven't seen you in 20 years! Peter, I finally got your letter. You know, the one where you said that you were having doubts about marrying Lois, and you still had thoughts about marrying me? Gretchen, I wrote that a long time ago. Well, my answer is yes, Peter. Yes, I will marry you! Gretchen, I am already happily, moderately hap- relative- I am- I am married. Oh, then I suppose your wife is entitled to know that you were still in love with me just days before your wedding. <gasps> Blackmail! Thank you, Cleveland. And I don't know what to call the thing you're doing to me, lady. Well, I've looked everywhere. Maybe she left. Paul Blatt, if you're out there, I could sure use a miracle. Choo-choo! All aboard the Ladybug Express! But be careful, Peter. If this train slows to less than 50 miles an hour, then Sandra Bullock has to marry a neo-Nazi and act like she didn't know about it, and then overcompensate by adopting a black kid. Ah! Help! Ah! Ah! Holy crap! Ah! Well, he obviously doesn't know it's just a pity vote. In fact, this whole Homecoming King thing seems to have just gone straight to his head. I know, he's acting like an arrogant jerk. 
Quiet, Rupert. It is an honor to serve the king in this manner. Brian, this can't go on. Chris is out of control. He's even more arrogant than an actor, writer, director. Well, my script is brilliant and I'm a great director. The question is, how bad do I want this part? <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Jeez, I'm really sorry, Carter. But at least you have your health. <coughs> Oh. You know, this is your fault. You're the one who said I should do it. Mm-hmm. There's that judginess Babs is always calling me and talking about. Look, nobody steals from Carter Pewterschmidt. I am going to Africa and get my money back. And you're coming with me. Africa? We're going to Africa? I wonder if it will change us. But of course, it did change us. I've been working here for 50 years pretending I'm a woman. Do you ever regret not having children, Mother Bernadette? Oh, I've had many children. <laughs> Wow, I really messed up. I haven't felt this bad since I drove by that speed sign. We figured you'd say no to us, but not to Vice President Joe Biden. Oh, my God. Mr. Vice President. First, I want to thank you, Vic, for shooting the guy we said was Osama bin Laden. Second, give these kids their dog back. Of course, sir. I'm so sorry. Here, take him. Thank you. You're a great American. Thanks, Mr. Biden. No problem. Hey, you guys watch Veep? No. Yeah, it's all fake. Yet we said no. Wow, Karen, nice to meet you. I'm Glenn Quagmire. I didn't know Peter even had a sister. What are you, ashamed to me, Chin Nuts? Oh, my God, his chin kind of does look like nuts. Ha-ha! <laughs> I never noticed that. How could you not notice it? Watch this. I'll, I'll, I'll punch him in the nuts. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of clever. All right, check it out, Barney. This is how we're going to fool Joe's dad. Oh, my God. Yeah, looks real, right? I put this pair of pants on the front legs of this horse and strapped Joe to the front with his legs tied behind the horse's neck. And then we put Cinnamon's head up the back of Joe's shirt and simply hid the rest of the horse behind this curtain. <laughs> his breath is very moist, Peter. And to induce movement, I'm going to snap the horse's balls with this dampened kitchen towel. Ah, oh, my God! Holy crap, he's out of control! Doesn't look real! Ah! Plan B! Plan B! I'm so happy you all could make it tonight. We will have many things you will nibble at and not eat. Then I will give you a pizza. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Hey, can we watch that last episode of Winter Summer now? We will watch together after dinner. In the meantime, feel free to watch Korean pop videos. What is this, and how can I make the rest of my life about it? All right, Peter, almost done. Ah. <coughs> huh? Eh? Uh, kind of. Yeah. I don't care. Peter, I don't know about this. It seems like a bad idea. Look, Lois, Joe is one of my best friends. All right? I'm only doing this to help him. Besides, where do you hear my Joe voice? Uh, God, I hate being stuck in this chair. No, Peter, that fights it. I'm afraid his behavior has been an issue for a while. He's even been bothering students during nap time. Hey, you up? Guess where I have a crayon. Hey, hey, Lois, you want some beans with that, right? <laughs> oh, oh, I misjudged you, fat man. Damn it! Peter, what's wrong with you? Wait, 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 Lois, Lois, don't move. Stewie's loving this. <laughs> oh, see if she's got any cash on her. Brian, did you get into the garbage last night? Uh, no. Why? Don't lie to me, Brian. I'm not lying. Is this the trigger? <laughs> Hello, Alan Bennett. Fantastic play. And I'm Yasmina Reza. Oh, are you his night nurse? No, I'm a playwright. I wrote Art and God of Carnage. I won a Pulitzer. 
You, you want to say your grade point average, too? What can I say about my beautiful bride except milk, milk, lemonade, around the corner fudge is made? <laughs> Lois, get in here! Shh. Meg's boyfriend. But there's... there's nothing wrong with him. Mom, where's my... Shh. <gasps> Quagmire, get over here. You gotta see this. He seems to be completely normal. Oh. I can honestly say for the first time that I am attracted to our daughter. This must be what other fathers feel like. This was worth the 500-mile drive. He endeavors to score by dashing between the creases, provided the wicket keeper hasn't whipped his bales off, of course. Anybody get that? The only British idiom I know is that fag means cigarette. Well, someone tell this cigarette to shut up. Yeah. Oh, just me, Stewie. Just uh, being myself. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, well, this here? Oh, it's just my package. Yeah, just, just, uh... Just um, a package. God delivered it. I signed for it. The world keeps on spinning. <coughs> yeah! Free flying meat! Hey, you feel good about yourself, Jagoff? Yeah, that's right. I knocked your kid over to get a hot dog. What, do you think you're better than me? What, you think you're better than me? You think you're better than me? I just heard the dog got fired. Did I miss it? Did he cry yet? Oh, come on, dog. Cry for me. Yeah, there you are. Oh, yeah, cry for Stewie. Life isn't what you thought it would be. Hey, Mac, you here for the expired hot dogs? No, Carl, I'm looking for Chris. I've looked everywhere and I can't find him. Huh, I haven't seen him, but I'll keep an eye out. Hey, bozos, what do you think of this? I did it! I did it! You're crazy, man! You're so crazy! You know, I vaguely recall seeing footage somewhere of something exactly like this that uh, leads me to believe this probably won't work. All right, Stewie, let her rip! Oh, hey, Bri. Still sitting in chairs, huh? What'd your back ever do to you? I'm trying to watch. Know what I'm watching? My core. Your body and mind are supposed to be on the same team. Sitting on the hard floor is good for your back, too. There, what's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, what's that? Who's there? Is there somebody at the door? Somebody at the door? Huh? Somebody at the door? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? 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 I'm not a dog, you fat bastard! Oh no, Rupert, we're out of gas! We better ask directions at that creepy and possibly haunted house. Ah! A ghost! Oh, 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 it's okay, it's okay. We got away just in time, we got away just in time. Well, watch out, we got some bad roaches here. Hey, you're on our turf, man. Hey, man, I, I cut you, I cut you up so bad, you, you're gonna, you're gonna wish I no cut you up so bad. He is hot. Keep feeding that guy. Hi, nice to meet you. Can I have that? Hang out over here for a second. Go on to three! You gotta get out there, Cleveland. I'm trying. He's taking advantage of poor technology. Up, oh, lot of dribbling. Swipe! Here we are. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I think you all know I was going for a corner three. That's why I'm gonna drink this frying pan antidote. <laughs> all right, hit me with this. <laughs> Didn't work. Help! Help! I'm drowning! <laughs> help! We gotta get this woman to surgery time! Right stat now! <whistles> yeah, baby! I want a piece of that. You sack! No. 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 Now I'm just gonna reach for the shampoo. No jumping out. Ah! He's got Rupert! Hey, drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Would you like a carrot? Good girl. Let me just fire up the internet here. Gonna go to Ask Beeves. Sorry, Joe's Wi-Fi is really slow today. Ugh, I know, it's the worst. We also use his cable TV. I like Joe. Where's your father and Chris? It's not like them to be late for lunch. Mm, I think they left a note. I know something that'll help you sleep. Wait here. Well, I hope so, because I've tried everything. 
counting sheep, thinking sleepy thoughts, I even hired the Sandman. Sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and good night! Come on, guys, wait up! Oh, dang, I got honey all over my legs! Cookie? No, no, actually it's Stewie, but, well, you, you can call me Cookie if you like. <laughs> yes, I, yes, yes, I've also been known to answer to Artemis, Agent Buckwald, and Snake. Yes, yes, I, I rather like Snake. Snake Griffin. Oh, why didn't I think of this before? I should just check the Find the Jew app on my phone. Huh, there's just two big clusters on each side of the country. Oh, no, look, there's one down south. Ah, oh, they got him. Okay, look at this. Somebody gave me a little remote control helicopter. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, it's broken. <laughs> you get out of here! I'll kill you! But come back tomorrow, same time. I get very sad on Sundays when you're not here. Oh, all right, period movie. Oh, not a period movie. Oh, this guy's in trouble. Can't wait to hear his story. Oh, come on! Standing here with these kids Waiting for the song to end Yankee Doodle went to town Now I know my ABCs Don't mind me, I'm just grabbing a little cheese and vino If anybody needs me, I'll be poolside Next to my weirdly hot girlfriend with dark teeth You ever just let your balls hang out, b right? You ever do that, b -roni? Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was bright. I'm going to do something really nice for Rupert. Show him how much he means to me, Annabelle. Oh, no, 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 I, I don't want you to kill anyone. I'll let you know. There you are. What are you doing up here? Oh, hey, Bri. I'm making a collage for Rupert. We've been firing on all cylinders lately, and I just wanted to let him know I care. That sounds stupid. Well, Annabelle doesn't think so. Right, Annabelle? Holy what is that? Here it is, guys. What do you think? I'm realizing I may have a cat allergy. I think it's great, Glenn. And people really seem to be enjoying themselves. Boy, if I could clean myself with my tongue, I'd never leave the house. <laughs> right? <laughs> And it's like if I had nine lives, maybe I'd finally find a man. <laughs> You's joining me. Excuse me, is someone sitting here? Yes, my lover, Tom. <gasps> oh, Peter, I'm so happy you're okay. Whoa, you're alive? What happened? Did I have a heart attack? No, you had a panic attack. Or in medical terms, a heart attack for wussies. Is that so? Well, in that case, the big promotion goes to Lois Griffin! What can I say? I love my wife. That's my show. Why shouldn't this be me? Because I'm the funny one. Not on this show, you're not. Or am I? Ah, I thought we had one more face. It all happened so quick, but I really feel something. Am I crazy? No. Trust your instincts. You've got to chase this feeling. Go find Beard Boy. I will, Mom. I will. <sighs> what was going on in here? The windows are steamed up like when Subway's making the bread. Hey, what's going on in here? We're making the bread, sir. Good. Now get back to making sandwiches with the shiniest turkey on earth. Subway, have it your way, if your way is very wet. We got inch-wide masks over just our eyes with the rest of our faces plainly visible. We're fine. You wanted to see me, Daddy? Juliet, honey, we need to talk. You're a grown woman now, and it's time for you to get married. Grown woman? Daddy, I'm 13. Shh, don't say that. Tell people you're 11. Do you want to get married or not? <sighs> fine. Now, 
I found you the most eligible bachelor in all of Italy. He's from the Boyardee family. Kind of a big deal. My family makes the best canned sugar pastas in all the land. What is that? It's my magic eight ball. This is the first black ball that Kim Kardashian hasn't played with. Why is it filled with the blue liquid from tampon commercials? That's a very gross question, Meg. You may take your breakfast in the attic. That question aside, I'm having a blast with my new eight ball. It knows everything. Watch. Magic eight ball, will my middle of the highway puppet show be a success? Well, I'll show this thing. Huh. Something's different. Hey, uh, Meg, uh, can you cut that out? Dad? Please don't tell your mother about this. I took an extra job. I don't make much money, and Christmas is very expensive. <sighs> Dad, I'm going to ask you one question, and how you answer it will determine the rest of my life. Were you the Santa at this mall yesterday? No. Oh, thank God. Now, Meg, I got a question for you. Does that mean you're asking me out? I guess it does. You're not ashamed to be with me? No, I'm not. I don't care anymore. I guess I'm just not as hung up as I used to be. Room service? Oh my god, you ordered room service? Are you crazy? What if somebody finds out I'm in here having goofball sex? Hello? Room service? I've got your eggs and sausages. Snossages. Yeah, it just doesn't seem right. We're in here and everyone on Wall Street is free as a bird. Joe, now is not the time for your bland political musings. This sucks. The courts are closed for Thanksgiving, which means we can't even go before a judge till Monday. That's five whole days here. What the hell are we gonna do? Well, if we're Congress, we'll do nothing. Yeah, all right, that one was sharp. Good job, Joe. And you know, maybe, maybe prison won't be so bad. Maybe we just gotta make the best of it. Like those guys over there. Look, they're playing leapfrog. Wow! Tastes great, Stewie. Mmm, so good. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Not so hammy, Meg. He's not an idiot. Stewie, can't you see they're faking it to make you feel good? What are you talking about? Wow! <laughs> so good! We must insist on absolute quiet. Lois, where's the first aid kit? I tried to put a Elio's in the oven and I burnt my head. Top of the closet. Oh, that little case? I've been taking that to work to look like a businessman. Hold the elevator, hold the elevator! Sorry. Can someone push any button, please? I don't work here, I'm just being silly. I like a good red delicious. Oh, does your mouth have a lid on it? What are you talking about? That's a garbage apple. May as well eat a Honeycrisp. Well, what's wrong with that one? Science apple. Made in a lab with test tubes and beakers. Well, what apples do you like? Fuji for eating, crab for hucking. That's a prankster's apple. Gosh, Cleveland, I had no idea you knew so much about apples. Hmm. Did you ever ask? No, I guess I didn't. Hmm. So, any of you out there have a futon? Yeah, yeah, right. I Ubered here tonight. Man, Starbucks. Facebook, eh? And how about that new chip and credit cards? Anybody ever been to Georgia? The new iPhone is large. EDM music. Boo! You stink! Yeah! Dane Cook already did all these halves of jokes! Hey, hey, this is my job. I don't go down to Burger King. God. Down. Hut. Hut. Good hutton, Glenn. That's my boy, Hutton. Way to hut. Shut up. Stop complimenting things that don't need it. Hike! Uh-oh, look who's on the loose. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, no, I missed you by total accident. Yeah, six points, bitches. Whoa, that was some great move, buddy. I don't think Jordan Peele has the talent we've attributed to him. Because of the lake water, uh... I said some things that I did not mean. Jordan Peele is our greatest living filmmaker and visionary, both in comedy and in drama. There is nothing he can't do. Good. Now let's make some twin porn. Hit me again and you got a deal. I now pronounce this the last straight marriage. 
And I think I got swindled on the Fenway deal because it was a game that night. It's a hit! No! That would have been the game-winning run! The Red Sox lose! I was having serious regrets about my decision, but was already pregnant with Meg, so there was no backing out. This bee's chasing me! Somebody call Ace Ventura! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Aw, did you see and hear the wink? That means he did it on purpose. No, no way. He did it all by himself. Ah, there it is again! Brian, you're the best dad ever! What are you talking about? I beat him. I wish I had a dad like that. Me too, bud. Brian, you're very sweet to do that. To do what? I'm the one who scored the touchdown. You sure did, Glenn. He's not my dad. I already have a dad, and it's my mom. All right, Brian? Stop trying to be my dad, you fraud. One hundred people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Name something you might say to a damned spot. Out. Good answer. Ah, good, yeah, answer. Yeah, good, good answer. Good answer. Show me out. What? That's impossible. Romeo, name something you might say to a damned spot. Hello. What? I know this audience. Of course it was hello. Of course. Guys, I gotta help Meg get into a good college. All right, Peter, what's going on? Well, truth be told, Meg wants me to give her a bunch of money so she can go to college. And I guess, I guess I'd rather spend that money on alcohol. Up next on Nickelodeon, uncomfortably hot 18-year-old girls. Honey, where are you off to? To the car wash to raise money for our new soccer uniforms. Okay, have fun. Nickelodeon. Casually ask your daughter what that girl's name is, then take your laptop into the bathroom. Okay, Mr. Griffin, now you've got your flu shot. Will you stop giving him flu shots, man? We got a show to do. Oh, Quagmire, it's cool, it's cool. This is the doctor that killed Michael Jackson. Each year, the environment covers more than 40% of the Earth. Every animal on Earth lays eggs. This is a birch tree. Today, it will begin its 10,000-mile journey. The Earth neither hates nor loves, but sits waiting patiently for people to do famous stuff. Hey, relax. You're married now. You don't have to worry about nothing. Everything's done for you. I mean, I literally don't know where socks come from. No idea. Did they come from trees? From bushes? I don't know. Get a hole in one, new pair shows up in my drawer. Just like that. Food, too. I chucked the mustard onto the front lawn last week. That night, back in a fridge. Oh, wow, I can't even imagine what twisted deviant act you've thought of this time. I want you to have sex with your father. Hi, Glenn. Are you crazy? No! No way! Glenn, remember, the thing we love most about each other is that we push each other way beyond our normal boundaries. Did you enjoy your stay at the Marriott? No, I did not. Oh, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Quagmire. Hi, Peter. I'm a little worried about Glenn. I haven't heard from him in days. I've already checked Glenn's house, and there's no sign he's even been there. I'm afraid something terrible has happened. I'm sure if we just check his usual hangout, someone will have seen him. This is Sonia's storage unit. Quagmire, are you in there? <coughs> we'll come back when you're done eating. Oh, Glenn, I was so worried about you. Are you all right? No, no, I I'm pretty... Far from all right. Uh, we're just glad to have you back, Quagmire. And it's good to put all those troubles behind us. My dad told me he's pregnant. According to this projection, Stewie's adult height will be five foot one. What? Five foot one? Wow, Dr. Hartman, that's really short. I mean, I suppose it's fine if he's going to die at 14. Is, is there anything on there about that? Well, we learned in medical school that the short ones do go faster because they smell more farts than the rest of us. This is terrible! I can't be short. I'll be an outcast like Rudolph the Uncircumcised Reindeer. Look, Rudolph, it's not me, all right? It's Dasher. He's been complaining, and he is the one who has to look at it all night. I don't know. Mrs. Claus says it'll decrease my sensitivity. I'm, I'm sorry, why are you talking to my wife about this? Hello? Levi, where you been, man? Look, I already gave you a verbal warning, so I'm going to have to write you up. Levi, don't call me that. Don't, don't use that word. Stop, stop using that word. I already warned you about calling me that at the last staff meeting. Okay, now that's strike two, Levi. I can too give strikes. Mitch said I can give strikes. Don't call Mitch that. Listen, I can't talk about this right now. My dog is banging my wife. I want to throw you the wildest bachelor party of all time. 
It's going to be crazier than whatever Kanye West is doing at this particular moment. I'm giving this lasagna a massage while preparing to announce I'm joining ISIS. Thank you for your interest. Well, if it's your elbow that's bothering you, we should start by checking your reflexes. Ah! <laughs> okay, they seem all right. Oh, that's good. But you gotta help me. My arm really hurts. It all started after I got a chainsaw. Hmm, is that right? Okay, so how much synthetic opioid do you need? I'm trying to prescribe enough to earn a fanny pack. Uh, aren't there any other options? Well, there's a trucker hat, but those look stupid on me. You know, sometimes joint pain is connected to back issues. Have you ever had a chiropractic adjustment? What's that? It's a procedure where a guy who couldn't get into medical school tries to rip your head off. Does it work? If you believe it works. It's kind of like the Polar Express. Let's do it! Okay, I'll give it a shot. But this type of thing is usually done in strip malls next to a Little Caesars. As a descendant of Quahog's Puritan forefathers, I think we should be able to throw a woman into a pond to see if she's a witch. That seems a bit extreme, don't you think? That's exactly what a witch would say. You know what I think the problem is, Joey? I need to show them that I deserve to be customer of the week. You don't. Well, they probably see a woman like me and think, yeah, she's got it all. They don't. I know, it's a silly little award, but I don't ask for much. You do. And this is the one place, the one place that makes me feel happy. You aren't. Now, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I feel like I really vibe with everyone there. You don't. Yeah, I'm one of their best customers. You know, if I stopped showing up, they'd probably wonder where I went. They wouldn't. Because I'm a nice person. You're not. I tip in cash. So? And I can't think of one reason and why they wouldn't pick me. I can. Oh, thanks for listening, Stewie. I had no choice. You know, I'm going to show them that I deserve to win this award. This is our friend Leapy. Hey, Joe, can you do me a favor? Okay. Can you be a big boy and unbutton your shirt for the picture? Yeah. Great, we're all done. Now take off your pants. What the hell? I said take them off. Joe, don't listen to Leapy. I was wrong. Leapy is not our friend. Oh! Yeah, that's good. It was a night just like this. And when the moon is full, if you close your eyes, you can still hear her voice. Will you sponsor me for my 5K? Don't worry, Lois. I went blind a while back. It was cool. They're some of the last people you can still make fun of. Dad! It's fine. They won't see this. Dr. Hartman, you said there was very little risk to LASIK, but now I am blind. How did this happen? Okay, look, this isn't my fault. It was take your cat to work day. You work hard, and at the end of the day, you're more than tired. You're man tired. And when it's finally time to kick off your boots and relax, nothing satisfies more than beef. Cigarettes. Give yourself a treat. Nicotine and meat. Beef cigarettes. Now with less hooves and snouts. Wait, Peter, where's the bottle of wine I told you to bring? Cleveland makes more money than me now, Lois. That means we're sneaking groceries out of this party, not bringing them in. Damn it, we can't show up to a dinner party without a $14 empty gesture. It's improper. We need to give them something. Fine. Here. We brought these. They're lovely. Mmm. I'm putting you in charge of kitchen banter. What you got there? Little jet fuel? Little java? Little jitter juice? I'll take a top off if you don't mind. Yeah, don't talk to me till I've had my coffee, right? Hey, how come you were only pregnant for four months? Griffin! Sorry, it's my first day! I'm gonna sleep better than a cartoon sheriff. <laughs> I was in jail because I killed a bunch of old ladies. And now that I'm out, I'm going to do it again. Oh, hey, Lois. Welcome to the peat pad. What have you done to the attic? I dragged up some stuff and turned it into a sweet hangout. Even made it extra awesome by stealing a real street sign. <laughs> I didn't have my hand down my pants. Hmm, good for you. I just bought us some new sheets at Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, boy, I hope you stayed away from that Beyond section. <laughs> oh, here are the coffee mugs. Hi, can I help you? Well, that depends. Do you know how to fix pieces of junk? Haven't been stumped yet. <sighs> okay, I see what your problem is. I, I think I got a virus. No, the porn's not the problem. Your browser history shows that you've been going to kinkylatinas.net, but that site has a bunch of malware. 
personally, I'd recommend college Latinas. I mean, I want to see Latinas, but I also want them to speak English. English. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Hey, Quagmire, what's up? Hey, Peter, I-, I need some help with my computer. I can't find my photos. Did you look under photos? What is that? It's a folder called photos. Yeah, I, I don't have that. I just have 40 folders all called new folder. Okay, you know what? Click on your hard drive. Okay, now, now the arrow on the screen, that's me, right? Yeah, yeah, that's you. Okay, now, now, now just... Whoa, 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 there's a calculator on this thing? <sighs> Listen, Quagmire, what are you trying to do? I just want to put pictures of my cat on everyone's internet computer. Like, how do I do that? Okay, wait, there's an agreement that just popped up. H- hang on, let, let me read the whole thing. Just hit accept. Well, that seems a little foolhardy, doesn't it, Peter? Look, do we have to do this now? I'm watching something. I know, I'm sorry. I- I'm just nervous that somebody else is going to get pictures of their cat on the internet first, and then I'll always be known as the second guy to get pictures of his cat on the internet. I don't know how to tell you this, but there's already cats on the internet. Wait, it's, it's giving me that pinwheel thing. It, it, it's frozen. It, uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. It crashed. The whole thing just crashed. Peter, the whole thing's fried. I can't even... Ah! Oh, damn it. What the hell? Hey, you clicked... Ex- Mr. Weed, distinguished members of the board, may I present this year's hottest toy, Mr. Zucchini Head. He's got stupid cool hip-hop style with his little hat and his dark mountains. Uh, thank you, Peter. That's enough. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the best part. He dances. Well, I've seen How enough. I haven't had sex in four years. Gentlemen, I apologize for wasting your time. Peter is an adequate assembly line worker, but you'll be happy to know our company does not pay him to think. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take this. No calls. How are you coming, Johnson? Well, Mr. Weed, I've been working on the new G.I. Jew line, and as you can see, they look great. You call these bagels? <laughs> Whoa! I'm glad he's on our side. No, I love you for second. Uh, Mr. Weed, um, I heard you ran into my identical twin brother at the ball game yesterday. And if you don't buy that, I'm sorry I was at the ball game yesterday. Peter, I just received terrible news. This company has been taken over by a conglomerate. After 23 years of faithful service, I've been terminated. Wow, the business world sure is funny. That must be him. Oh, God. I hope that thing doesn't happen where I get nervous and I can't control the volume of my voice. Hello, Peter. How are you? Fine! Please come in. It's so nice to have you over, Mr. Weed. Thank you, Mrs. Griffin. I understand that you have a beautiful family. Yes, we do. But the children won't be joining us for dinner. It's almost their bedtime. Attention, please. Tomorrow is softball practice. We have a lot of work to do for Saturday's game. Let's not forget how badly we were humiliated last year by potok and joke and novelty. (laughs) 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 Look at those morons in their stupid glasses. Attention, everyone. Due to several complaints and the two deaths related to worker fatigue, I have decided to throw a company picnic this Saturday. Peter! What the... Are you sleeping on the job? Uh, uh, no, there's a, a bug in my eye and I'm trying to suffocate him. Peter, I like you, but I need you to be more than just eye candy around here. It's your job to watch for any toys that could be hazardous to children. Now look sharp! Uh, yes, sir. Oh, my God! 
Peter, you bought the statue of David? No, 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 I just rented it. Yeah, they're gonna be ticked, though. The penis broke off while I was loading it into the car. I shall call you Eduardo. Peter, please. Miss Ironbacks, I assure you this company in no way condones Peter's conduct. In fact, a film on employee relations has been a mandatory part of our personnel training for 50 years. Irrational and emotionally fragile by nature, female co-workers are a peculiar animal. They are very insecure about their appearance. Be sure to tell them how good they look every day, even if they're homely and unkempt. You're doing a great job, Muriel, and you're prettier than Mamie Van Doren. And remember, nothing says good job like a firm open palm slap on the behind. This year, we will defeat those pranksters with our secret weapon, Guillermo. <laughs> Bravo! I hired Guillermo because I believe he will be an asset to our company on and off the field. You have impeccable credentials. I'm sure I can find a position for you somewhere. Back to work, people. All right, all right, let's not panic. Nobody even knows about this yet. Police! Random dead body search. Oh my God, Lois, stall him! Peter, what are you doing? Just, just stall him, Lois! Dad, don't you have to work today? <laughs> it's nothing a little phone call can't take care of. Hello? Mr. Weed, I can't come to work today. I was in a terrible plane crash. My entire family was killed and I am a vegetable. I'll see you tomorrow. Huh? Eh? Oh, please, Peter, your excuses are lamer than FDR's legs. <gasps> Too soon? Peter, our new secret weapon is this very attractive paraplegic. <laughs> okay, Joe, you got me. <laughs> Rise and shine. Come on, stand and deliver. Get the hell up. <laughs> You're a hoot, Peter. The winner of our final contest will receive a very special prize, a week's paid vacation. Did you hear that? Oh, God, pl please let it be farting. Please let it be a fart contest. These are tranquilizer darts. I have enough here to take down Robert Downey Jr. Oh, <laughs> Robert Downey, yeah. yes. Well, the last one left standing wins. Let the game begin! I guess it's just down to you and me, Peter. One of us is gonna win that paid vacation. <laughs> but I, I don't want to feed Grandma bacon while she's in the bathtub. Peter, are you okay? Mr. Weed, I think Peter needs a duck. We have a winner! Here, yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> it's nice that your family is here, Peter. If your ringer doesn't arrive soon, you can spend every day with him. At home. Oh, uh, he'll be here, Mr. Weed. Oh, you should see this guy in action. He can hit, he can throw. Peter! What's he doing in a wheelchair? Holy crap, he's a crapple! Glad to see you all found your way over from the cemetery. I'm Leonard Hale, Mr. Weed's lawyer. We found this tape among Mr. Weed's personal effects with instructions that it be screened immediately following his funeral. Enjoy. Good morning, camera time. Turn that off, I don't have my face on yet, I'm ugly. Y you wanna tell us a little something about what you're making there? I will tell you, it's just a couple of eggs with the peppers left over from last night. Mm. <laughs> yes, mm. okay, now playtime is over. Turn it off, monkey, okay? <laughs> <coughs> Hello, friends. If you are watching this, I am dead, and I bet you're pretty bummed. But I have good news. Yeah? The happy-go-lucky toy factory shall be torn down to make way for the happy-go-lucky terminal disease institute. What? The demolition will begin in now. And it seems the happy-go-lucky toy company of Quahog, Rhode Island, has released several highly unsafe toy products into the retail market. Come on, Timmy, throw the silly ball. Oh, boy, a pound poochie. Come on, baby Heimlich, spit it out. Peter, I am appalled. Your negligence has damaged this company's reputation. You're fired! Ah, oh, jeez, for how long? Oh, uh, wait here, Dad. Hey, uh, Mr. Weed? Peter! Um, listen, I was wondering if you might have a job for my dad. Your father? He must be a man of at least 70. Oh, yeah, but he's in great shape, huh? Well, well except his prostate. 
Hey, at 2 a.m. last night, I thought a horse was using the bathroom. Peter, all finished. What's next? Whoa, oh, yeah. Wow. You did my whole day's work in five minutes. We should sell you to the circus, you freak. I've never seen such productivity. How is this possible? I'll tell you how it's possible. Because this man always put his job before everything else. His wife, his health, even his own son. Especially his own son. I need here no more. Everyone, this is your new shop foreman. Welcome aboard, sir. Lead us, you see fit. How hard can it be to pitch? Uh, okay, take your base. Somebody call 911. Tell them he's allergic to penicillin and white Zinfandel. Idiot! If you don't find a ringer to replace Guillermo, you're fired! Mmm, who would think that a woman with such beauty would also have the culinary skills of Emeril Lagasse? Ah, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Peter, don't you have something to say to Mr. Weed? Oh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Weed, I don't care what the guys at work say. I never thought you were an effeminate weirdo. Uh, uh so, uh, what, what kind of a name is Weed? They gave it to my grandfather on Ellis Island. Our original name was Bermuda Grass. Peter, being here with your wonderful family, your beautiful home, and your funny talking dog, well, I'm impressed. In fact, starting Monday, I would like to promote you to head of toy development. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, thanks, Mr. Weed. Oh, you won't be sorry. <laughs> Brian, quit it. You're embarrassing me here. Peter, Brian's choking. Do the Heimlich maneuver quick. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. <gasps> Why congratulate me on a right and natural turn of events? Now, if you'll excuse me, I shall select three things from Stewie's room that I wish to be mine. There's a book in there on how to eat healthy. Why don't you take that, you fat bitch? Hey, Horace, get that wiener out of your hand and give us three more beers over here. Ha, <laughs> Lois, you're always giving me the business. <laughs> <sighs> hey, Horace, why don't you take that wiener out of your hand and give me a beer? Don't talk to me that way, you son of a bitch. What about Mr. Demerson? Is he single? I, I... I don't know. What about Mr. Adelaide? Is he single? I don't know who that is. Well, who do you know who is single? Uh, I'm assuming you? Oh, oh, hey, look! Cake! I am gonna go back in time and stop Brian from getting it on with your dog. Everybody stand back. Ah! Uh, oh, 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 boy. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Ah! Ah! We now return to... Excuse me? I said, may I have a blanket? Oh, yes, of course. Ha! I really said, will you be my wife? And you said yes, so now it is official. Let me touch your face. Great party, Griff. Girls, you know Jimmy Khan. Jimmy, make yourself at home. Hey, thanks. If he says one more cool thing, he's in. I wear long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts under long sleeve shirts. Wow. Oh my god, you're awesome. Oh my awesome. god, you're, you're so, so cool. Awesome. Don't hit Sam. Don't, don't hit Sam. Don't hit Sam. And send. You son of a bitch. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. I told you. What did he do now? He don't listen to you. He don't listen to you. He endeavors to score by dashing between the creases, provided the wicket keeper hasn't whipped his bales off, of course. Can anybody get that? The only British idiom I know is that fag means cigarette. Well, someone tell this cigarette to shut up. <whistles> yeah, baby! I want a piece of that. You suck! Hey, Cleveland, I just wanted to give you a heads up that Peter has a whip because, well, you know, given your racial heritage, it seems like something you might want to keep an eye out for. Grape soda, Graham. I know this is very risky, but the upside is so good, I'm taking it. God, will you guys just shut up back there? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, gross! Will you stop it? Stop it! <laughs> hey, guys, check this out. 
<laughs> hey, Meg, don't be such a hothead. Now I'm just gonna reach for the shampoo. No jumping out. Ah, he's got Rupert! Hey, drop it! Drop it! Drop it! No man can resist the siren call of mentally impaired supermodel Kate Upton. Mm, sorry, Dad. I'm more of a Katherine Keener man now. But, Chris, you gotta take advantage. The clock's ticking on Kate Upton. She's almost at the end of a window. <laughs> hey, hey, Lois, you want some beans with that, right? No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I misjudged you, fat man. Damn it! Peter, what's wrong with you? Wait, 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 Lois, Lois, don't move. Stewie's loving this. <laughs> oh, see if she's got any cash on her. I'll just get a little bit of paint and cover up the dents. Unattractive women do it all the time. You look pretty today, Carol. Thanks. It's probably just the dress and the makeup. Oh, now that I look closer, yeah, I think that's what it is, too. You have more than one shed? Of course, you always need an extra shed. I even got one shed that just has an extra shed in it. You guys talking about sheds? Hell yes, I love my sheds. Me too. High five on sheds. Sheds! Sheds! I just smoked the wrong side of a cigarette! Who wants to go swimming? Oh, this song is about me! Hey, did that big Boomba Boomba nurse come in here? Uh, no. But Dr. Hartman, is my brother gonna be okay? That's her! That's her! Hi, Juanita! Hello, Doctor. Was that weird? Was I just weird? Kind of. You don't know, I was fine. Oh, look, there's Mort's house! Oh, but I hope he doesn't have some gross Jewish candy, like, like Rugelach, or, or Hamantaschen, or, or, or ha 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 right, 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 Brian? Hey, uh, I'm new here, but you know what'd be crazy? If me, a guy, went in the girls' room with you two. I mean, <laughs> that would be, that would be so wild. We should, we should totally just go in there. Brian, stop. That'd be hilarious. I'm in. Still, we go wait in the car. No, we are here to get information about Chris. I said go wait in the car. Go out dancing. I don't know. I'm feeling kind of cozy tonight, kind of mellow. I just really want to go dance. Oh, <gasps> there it is again. What is that? All right, this is gonna blow you guys away. <laughs> What do you got to say over there? Nice melons. Hey, listen, pal. Peter, I'm holding melons. Oh, and her hooters ain't bad either. Now, hang on a second there. Peter, I'm holding hooters. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no problem. Your wife's hot. All right, that's it. Now I can do a slow cruise past my ex-girlfriend's apartment. 11.45 and the lights are on. Doing it with the lights on now, whore. Don't mind looking at his body. I love you so much, though. Look at this, Lois. See, right here. I was voted most likely to succeed. Peter, that's not you. That's not even a yearbook. That's a People magazine. Oh. I wonder why they had the wrong picture and name. <laughs> you get out of here. I'll kill you. But come back tomorrow, same time. I get very sad on Sundays when you're not here. I think it's in March. <laughs> Stewie, are you crazy? That's so loud, the guards will hear. Don't worry about it, Brian. Hey, what's going on down there? Nothing. All right. Meow. Purr. Purr. I think you're dreaming. No, I'm not. I haven't been this embarrassed since I was a rookie firefighter. Sorry, first day, still learning. You been drinking tonight, sir? Uh, no, officer. I just had a glass of dinner with my wine. Okay, I'm gonna need you to step out of the car and walk a straight line, please. Oh, <laughs> This is so humiliating. For God's sake, I went to Brown and he's got me out here tied to a post like some kind of- <laughs> Hey, hey, that's the guy. That's the guy whose chin looks like a... a... balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Bri. Still sitting in chairs, huh? What'd your back ever do to you? I'm trying to watch. Know what I'm watching? My core. Your body and mind are supposed to be on the same team. 
sitting on the hard floor is good for your back, too. So what's for dinner? You said we were having Italian? Yeah, and then I realized I'm not good at making fettuccine Alfredo, but I am good at making reservations. Oh. <laughs> you get it? Oh, God, I'm so bad. He has come to me all the way from America. His name is Brian Griffin, and my heart belongs to him. <gasps> Quick, everyone's looking at the dog. Go, go, go. So I just want to lay a few ground rules. Yep. I promise we're going to have fun, but there will be a uh -huh. schedule just to keep everything sure, running smoothly. Have boundaries. And I may assign That's a great, chore or two because it's actually more Sounds fun like when you got everyone it all worked pitches out. in. Hey, by the way. <laughs> we'll be closing in two minutes. I think you've had about enough. Well, I th I think you're wrong, you increasingly attractive-looking woman. You know, you're you're really pretty. Oh, stop. No, I'm am serious. You could you could be in magazines. You you could. Now, if you ladies don't mind stepping out, I have to reprimand Danny McBride next. Mr. McBride, do you know why you're here? Yeah, maybe because I'm awesome and you're a gay homosexual and also the word jet ski a lot. <laughs> but now I'm starting to sober up, so I'm going to need one to keep an even playing field. All right, but it stays between us. And what if they card you? Don't worry, I got it covered. Don't worry, I only hired women whose names are cookie-related. Lois, meet cookie, sugar, spice, cinnamon, brown sugar, and butter. Oh, hey, butter. Some guys like butter. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Are you enjoying your coffee, sir? Yeah, it's very smooth. Good flavor. What if we told you that we secretly replaced your coffee with Folgers Crystals? Wouldn't you feel like a dumbass? Because of how you just raved about it just now? You stupid son of a bitch! Peter, face it, without Quagmire, we're boring. Oh, come on, that ain't true. Yes, it is. He had all the fun ideas. Remember, he even took me parasailing. This is awesome! It's like I'm flying! Woo I've never felt so alive! Oh, if only I had a pair of legs. All right! It was the fish part of me that wanted him! Oh, come on. This'll change your mind. Oh my god! Quick, do something! Get rid of it! Get your family out of that house! If they don't leave, they'll die! Round up your family and get out or you're all gonna be sorry! Get out now! See, kids, I told you we'd make friends here. I guess me getting transferred by the Xerox Corporation wasn't the worst thing after all. Well, we made it. East Bola. All right, let's find our prince and get my money back. Get down on the ground. Yeah. This is unacceptable. I demand to speak to Anthony Anderson. <laughs> okay, hold on. Shoot me if you must, but it is imperative that I answer this call. Hello? Yes, this is Peter Griffin. Yes, I did call you about the eight-piece lawn croquet set. Now, it says weathered. Just how weathered is it? Yeah, go ahead and send me a pic. That'd be very helpful. Sir, shoot me if you must, but it is imperative that I look at these pictures. Peter, we have a hamper. Stop throwing your dirty clothes in the toilet. Peter? Peter, where are you? What's all this? Oh, hey, Lois. Welcome to the Pete Pad, where the dancing's hot, the drinks are hot, Everything's just freaking hot. What have you done to the attic? Well, when I slept up here the other night, I realized what a great space it is. So I dragged up some stuff and turned it into a sweet hangout. Even made it extra awesome by stealing a real street sign. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't... I didn't mean... No, it's okay. Um, I'd better go downstairs before Joe realizes I'm gone. And before Peter gets into the stuff that's not for the party. Ah, Halloween candy! Peter, get out of the pantry! 
I can't believe I just kissed my friend's wife. I'm a bigger scumbag than Spock. I heard that there was a Romulan ship spotted in our sector, which means... Hey! Hey! Chadley wants to have a play date here at my house! Well, that's great. No, it's not! I can't let him see this dump! Come on, Stewie. Chadley should like you for who you are. Besides, this place isn't so bad. Brian, Chadley's parents each have their own bathroom. I've seen the fat man pee through Lois's legs while she's sitting on the toilet. What I've got to do is find a spectacular house that I can pretend is mine to impress Chadley. Well, why don't you just use Babs and Carters? I can't. They're having an eyes-wide-shut party all weekend. I can't find my wiener with this mask. All right, time out. Let's, let's all just find our wieners and then put the masks back on. Huh. I know I left the ring right here. If you're referring to the ring that I thought was a lug nut, I ate it. What? Why would you eat a lug nut? I was dared. By who? By myself. I have low self-esteem. We should check in on this guy, Mole. Oh my god, this can't be happening! Chris, that was a diamond ring! Do you know how expensive that was? I'm sorry, Brian. But don't worry, it'll come out of my body sooner or later. He's right. I ate a dime once. It became a manhole cover for like three days, but then POW! Okay, yeah, yeah, we just, we just gotta force Chris to poop, that's all. Yay, like at a sleepover! I love you. You're loved. Good idea. And luckily, I'm great at connecting with that generation. Like when I went on that camp out with One Direction. So they checked into their hotel suite, but the minibar had no sparkling water, only still! <gasps> ah, stop! It's too scary. Oh, but that's not all. They looked in the wardrobe and discovered that the stylist had only brought non-skinny jeans! <gasps> Do you mean like a Levi's 513 skinny straight? No, just regular pants that fit normal! <gasps> That's not real, right? Those aren't real. Of course not, Louis. It's, it's just a story. Well, I guess that means these aren't real! <gasps> <gasps> yeah, they're gonna die in the woods. Simon, are they tagged? They're tagged, right? Oh, they're tagged. Good. Simon, did I ever tell you the one about the loose-fitting T-shirt? No, 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 no! Still on those meds, huh? Uh, yeah, they, uh, they helped me to, um, uh, think. Okay, time for an eyes-open nap. God, look what those pills are doing to you. Putting you on that stuff was a huge mistake. Like inviting a turtle to a cocktail party. Hey, ask me why they call me a box turtle. Mom, 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 mom. Hey, so how'd it go last night? Well, let's just say I got asked to come back tonight. You're kidding, it actually went over well? I figured you'd be terrible. Why would you think that? Well, I know a thing or two about performing. I mean, after all, I was Vin Diesel's acting coach. Okay, Vin, I like what you do in there, but I want you to try it one more time like this. Duh! Thanks for the ride along. I liked when you sentenced those two girls to kiss each other. Yeah, all girls are lesbians when you point a gun at them. Boy, it's been great spending time with you, son. It's been great spending time with you, too. Dad. Oh, this'll be fun. Let's see how long it takes them to get Gumby over there into the car. Yeah, that's our neighbor, Peter Griffin. That's the guy who emailed me? Huh. No wonder it was all caps with tons of typos. He's a waterhead, right? Yeah, he's a mess. Look at his ugly kids. Pathetic. Ugh, he's not bitten. Just put some of them in the back like skis. Ugh! 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 Very good, Stewie. You grunt like a Hungarian lesbian. Oh, thanks, Dimitri. And, uh, your testicles hanging out of your shorts again. I am cooling it. And you know, Glenn, after you moved away, Buttercup had kittens. <gasps> what? That's right. You're a grandfather. <coughs> My God. This is more pussy than even I can handle. Is he gonna say giggity? Should I say giggity? Are other people allowed to say giggity? Giggity. What? Nothing is stupid.
Holy crap, we, we, we gotta, gotta get out of here. Aw, oh, man, the library. White Fang, this is for ruining my eighth grade summer. <laughs> They ruined my summer, too. Oh, damn it! It's locked! Oh, my God! Somebody must have locked us in! We're gonna die in here! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Somebody emailed me a video of a sheep screaming. <laughs> okay, now, if you're gonna defeat your sister in the ring, you gotta get to the root of your fears. We gotta go back to your childhood, so I'm gonna hypnotize you. Okay, go back. Now we need to go back in time. My jeans are husky. Okay, further, further, a little further. Now open your eyes and tell me what you see. I see the six stations of the Lord's Order and they will all burn. There you go, Joe, all settled. Now which wall would you like to look at for the rest of your life? I don't know, maybe that one. I, I have no idea what you're pointing at, Joe. You gotta meet us halfway. Look, guys, I don't want to be a burden to anyone. You go ahead and live your lives. I'll be fine. We can't just leave you, Joe. So before we go, I'm gonna put the remote in your mouth. Here's a can of chili. And the opener we'll put in your mouth. And here's a magazine I thought you might like to read. I'm gonna put it in your mouth. And you probably don't want any reminders of Bonnie around the house, so I cleared out all of her underwear. Glenn Quagmire, neither he nor his assistant is available. To schedule a liaison, press 1. To cancel a liaison, press 2. If you're calling to report a pregnancy, please fill out our online form and we will mail you a check for $180. Thank you and have a giggity day. Chris, this is your mother. Get these dildos out of the dishwasher. doing here? Quagmire? Uh, oh, uh, uh, I have a hobby that takes me this way. Hey, I'm freezing. You got a blanket in there or something? I got a towel, but it's wet because I'm eating peaches. I lied about the hobby. I was sinning. I'm going to drive away backwards now. Now, I, I understand the show was quite different when it started. Yeah, in the original pilot, I was actually the star. It was called Chris Griffin, Teen Doctor. Sir, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Well, it can't be any worse than what's in here. <laughs> I ad-libbed that line. I wasn't even supposed to talk. What they didn't know is that I'd been privately doing jokes about the newspaper for years. Peter, I need you to take Chris and Meg to school. Today's the day I finally kill that squirrel that's been eating our tomatoes. Try to get like eight of them this time. I want to make bruschetta. Oh, can't the kids just walk? You know I like to watch two full movies before I go to work. No, Peter, they can't walk. It's three miles. <sighs> Fine, I'll take them. But you better keep those goggles, because I'm going to put them to good use tonight. <sighs> Once the floor is full of sawdust, we can eat peanuts in here. Correct, Quagmire. I'm going in for gender reassignment surgery. What the hell, Peter? First my dad, now you? Am, am I is it, Am I doing this to people? Is it, do you guys feel like cutting off your penises? No, but I can turn it inside out like rolling up a dress sock. You guys aren't supporting my choice? Well, what do you expect, Peter? I, I mean, a sex change operation? Why are you doing this? I'll tell you why I'm doing all of this. For me. M-E. 
M-E. I'm doing it for M-E. Oh. Ew. I mean, yay. Oh, hey, Chris. This is Tyler. Don't make this weird now. Oh, what a gentleman. Chris, could you please get Hannah a thank you basket and schedule her next appointment? I'd like to see her again in two weeks. Of course. Mr. Quagmire can fit in you at 3 o'clock a week from Thursday. That works. And you know to fast the night before? Yep. And would you like to leave your panties in the fishbowl for a chance to win a free lunch? Good luck. When are you going to do that drawing anyway? Oh, there's no drawing. I just like smelling the bowl. Hey, where's Chris? He's over there playing that carnival game. Step right up. Everybody take a chance on a whack a big a pussy. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. This is not what I thought it was. Oh, my God. Chris is out of control. I know. Must be all the violence in movies and sex on TV. Oh. Yeah, I listen. <laughs> I'm actually very hungry. Nobody's going to want you if you're fat. You want to eat? Get up to that bar and earn your keep. Well, what should I ask for, 500? You're not worth that much. You're trash. Ask for two. You know I hit you and whore you out because I love you, right? Hi there. You want a party? And can I have some of your bread? Hi, handsome. You can't have my bread, but you can have something of mine that smells like bread. <gasps> Okay, let's go. Just so you know, it takes me a long time. Hi, are you a straight adult male who likes to eat crepes without people making unwanted assumptions about your private life? Go to discreetcrepe.com, place your order, and within 30 minutes... Very masculine pizza delivery for Stewie Griffin. Oh, thank you. Mmm, strawberry banana Nutella with raspberry drizzle. Now I just need a guy's butt to eat this off of and I got myself a night. We finally made it, Brian. We're in India. Excuse me, man with no pupil, where can we get a taxi cab around here? All right, let's do it, Stewie. Let's go find Padma. Shouldn't be hard in this dreamy land of wonder. I can already smell the enlightenment and tranquility. <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it, Brian? It's so tranquil, I'm tearing up. Come on, I think I see a cab with less than nine people in it. Lois! 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 Is your wife named Lois, too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois! Hey, what are you... Lois! 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 And what's this giant, empty, football stadium-sized room? Oh, the post office anticipates that within the next five years, at least 200 million men in this country will be ordering and receiving real dolls. Every man will have seven to nine real dolls. Asians, blonde southern girls, blonde Asians capable of performing every possible sexual act, or at least incapable of refusing. You can put one in your car and drive in the carpool lane with it, and then maybe you push your head down, thus defeating the purpose of the carpool lane while fulfilling the purpose of the real doll. Maybe a trucker goes by. You say, hey, Janine, give him a show. Maybe later you ask yourself some tough questions like, why is it so important to you to impress and excite truckers? Anywho, grab that letter opener. I'm going to show you why you should never mail cash. Oh, thank God. Because just sitting here all sober is more boring than watching a pot boil. Hey, you. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God, it's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Peter, what's going on in there? Making dinner, babe. Chris, your mother and I want you to stop taking them pills. There's a lot of great things about having a sex drive that you're missing out on. Like what? Well, there's the post-orgy meals at a swingers party. Come on, let's eat with these wonderful people. Hey, everybody. Try my wife's ambrosia. If you like my wife's sniz, you're gonna love her ambrosia. I was thinking about this seven-layer dip the whole time I was chowing Ronald. 
I don't like this. I want to go home. You know what's sad? There's hardly any other fathers and sons here. Wow, you're really obsessed with Patty. You want her even more than I wanted the new iPhone. How's it going? Good, just looking forward to getting that new phone. What are you talking about? This isn't the Apple Store. This is a super gay club. Yeah, right. I leave and you get my phone. Nice try, cutie pie. And here's a trick to keep that confidence up. You go in that room and imagine everyone in it wants you sexually. I'm doing it right now. And I feel powerful. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go psych out these other kids. Hey, little guy. Nervous? Sure, yeah. Here's something that might help you. Hey, little guy. Stewie Griffin? Oh, right here. Peter, he needs a boost. Give him some of the acting soup. I want to say curse words! Okay, Stewie, you're just going to drink this juice, then say, mmm, and rub your belly. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah! Bye, juice! That was amazing. I've got goosebumps. I want him sexually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No TV for you, Chris. TV is how stupid losers spend their time. Peter, what is this all about? I'm trying to save our son, Lois. I don't want him to end up like me. Dead-end job, crappy house, aging wife who's getting skinny where fat's supposed to be and fat where skinny's supposed to be. Ha! Mag, go to your room. Why do you still read the newspaper? Nobody does that anymore. I like to keep up on local news. Huh. Most of these arrests are Cleveland. And the arresting officer is Joe Swanson. Can I help you, sir? I'm doing my mail route, Joe. Maybe you'd be more comfortable talking about it down at the station. It is more comfortable here. The police station. Come for the racial profiling. Stay for the comfort. Is that... is that you? Oh, yeah. A friend invited me to this charity ball. A friend? She's a hundred! Older women are cultured, worldly. I've got nothing to be defensive about. Her husband passed away. She appreciates my friendship. I don't like it. Oh my god, I know that sound! That means there's a potential intruder at the front door of one of my pals. Either way, I'm really excited and ready for anything! Hello? <laughs> Coming up, that bush in the park is my bush. It's my bush. Hey, Mom, can I pull my pants down? If she doesn't answer, does that mean yes? That's what I've been going with. Yay! <laughs> I want to get in on that. <laughs> Mine's better. Mine's better. I've just been, uh, checking out some of that internet porn. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just gonna go, go and check my mail over there. You been lifting weights? Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't think it... No. The oil in the lamp lasted for eight days, and that is why we celebrate Hanukkah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long before we play pin the eviction notice on the black guy's door? Now, does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I have a question. What are you going to do when Jesus comes back and puts a boot up your ass? We now return to Mark Wahlberg in Annoyed and Confused. What? What's going on? I don't get it. Man, I gotta work out. What's going on here? Where am I? What the... Huh? What the hell's going on here? Huh? What? Think about what you're saying. Parker Lewis can't lose. Heretofore, Batman can suck on that. Suck on that? Suck on this! Tic Tacs have only one and a half calories. Well played. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Cock-a-doodle-doo! Good night, everybody! Cleveland's bathroom is the greatest discovery since fat women discovered Diet Coke. Now I can eat anything! Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Now it's everywhere! That's comedy. <laughs> See, if you had said something like, Oh, it's half past a freckle. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of the three of you. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this guy. I'm John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving, pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving, pilgrims. <laughs> Where's this guy been? Hey, Stewie, can I talk to you for a sec? Look, Brian, I've colored Sebastian the Crab blue. If that isn't a middle finger to society, I don't know what is. Uh, I don't like it anymore. I wish I'd colored him red. Ah! Ah! Yeah. I'm John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving, Pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving, Pilgrims. <laughs> oh, my oh, my. oh, my God. Peter, yeah, I'll tell you, and I'm your friend, and I'll be honest with you, that's funny.
I mean, granted, you do think of bears on unicycles when you think of the Russian people, but they're all bears on unicycles? Bears on unicycles, everyone. Now go, bananas. Go, go, bananas. Go! Whoa! Come on, you guys, do it with me. Go, bananas! Yeah! <laughs> on your marks, get set, white guys, go! I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else! <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. Keep the change. <laughs> now you are gonna hold down that football until Charlie Brown kicks it. You got that? <laughs> yes. Now go ahead, Charlie. <laughs> Yay! I ad-libbed that line. Well, I had no idea I was dating a famous actor. Have archaeologists ever discovered ancient Egyptian pottery in her vagina? You know what? And that one was too wordy. That one was too wordy. That, that, was, that was flawed from the ground up. It wasn't funny. And we'll work on it and get back to you. <sighs> Here we go. Playboy's Women of the Olympics. Wow, those are some broad shoulders. Okay, I guess small boobs are good for swimming. That, that, those are balls. Well, now, now, hang on, Quagmire. There's no guarantee it's your baby. Giggity? Oh, I say that. And Mr. Chinaman say in his Chinaman way, a ding a ling a ching a chong a ching a chong chu. Housekeeper, aren't you? See. Si. Listen, I don't want to point fingers, but I'm missing about a thousand dollars in play money. I take. Uh, what? What? You? You took it? See. Si. We'll give it back. Come get, bitch. No. No. There once was a boy who liked to suck his thumbs. His mother asked him to stop, but he wouldn't. So she cut off his sums. Now he has no sums. Good night. The African American Heart Monitor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he did. You look very nice. What else? Uh. What about my shoe? They're nice too. How you think my house smell? Not oniony. You good man? I pat you on the head and feed you from the hand. Hi, chair. That's still a chair. Chair. Say something other than chair. What if I can't think of anything? You can pass. How do I pass? Just say it. Say what? Say pass. Chair. I think you've had enough, Peter. Yeah, you don't know. You get away! I I know my body better than you. Hey, good looking. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> oh, we should totally phone Gaspard. Oh, he would love to hear this tale. Oh, but I only have 15 Fenix on my phone card. Happy Gerbits Day. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. For I am not who you think I am. I am not Little Mary Sunflower, daughter of Bradley and Teresa Sunflower. No, I'm not. I'm Desmond Sunflower! Desmond Sunflower! Go for a ride in the car? <gasps> Come on! Well, I'm off to buy imaginary groceries. So what do you say we get this casting session started, huh? Let's do it! Yeah! yeah. Alright! All right. <laughs> and the Oscar goes to... A red guy! 
Who's the douchebag who keeps dying? I'm not a douchebag. I'm new. Look, if you're no good, why don't you just go hide till the end? All right, I'll go crouch behind the, uh... Is this a crouch button? Ah, oh, who dropped the grenade? Idiot! We're gonna play! Moron! You suck! Mr. Peter, Mr. Joe, Mr. Bonnie. She doesn't know what Mr. means. Mr. Mort, Mr. Muriel. Mayor West, mister. Well, he could be. It all depends on what his astrological sign is. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. What's going on, B minus? What's a heps? Come on. Oop. I oop. Just oop. You oop. This is oop. Can I oop? Ah, I'm just messing with you, man. You can do whatever you want. I was just kidding you. Why are you so serious? Hey, Griffin! Griffa! Griffa Mano! I've got veins They carry blood all over my body That's how John Mayer would say it, baddie I'm really into him now You better be okay with it! This is my old bicycle that I had from when I was 10. Are you still going out with him? I guess so. I hate how he pushes his bangs out of his face with every word he says. Um, order me a beer. I have to find a spot for my motorcycle. Hey, buddy, where are all your pals? Playing baseball. Well, why aren't you playing with them? Because I don't have a glove. Oh, yeah? Gee, just for me? No fooling? Nah, just kidding. It's mine. Oh, yeah. Sweetie, since when do you wear reading glasses? What, these? I've had these forever. Honey, those aren't real. Sure they are. No, they're not. I can see the little Austin Powers logo on the side. What are you talking about? These are my glasses. Yeah, baby! I'm not quite so sure I can find my way. Please leave a message at the beep. Alan, it's me again. Remember that turtle joke for the party. <laughs> uh, Brian, this feels weird. Hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> um, we know that, um, you, um, killed Lois. Um, hello? This is so humiliating. For God's sake, I went to Brown and he's got me out here tied to a post like some kind of- <laughs> Ow! Ow! Where am I gonna go next? What interesting adventure? You don't know. I'll have my award now. Dee, I lied. I was a princess the whole time. You bitch, I'm gonna punch you in the face. So, you want to get something to eat? Can we go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food? Oh, let's go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food! Well, you're doing a lot better now, Cleveland. I mean, you went from a black woman to a white woman without having to take that Hispanic woman step in between. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Cleveland. Uh, I'm no meteorologist, but I'm pretty sure it's raining bitches. The rooster goes... Kikri Where? Where does the rooster say that? The monkey goes... Macaque! No, 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 it does not! The elephant goes... Fwomp! Oh, yeah, kinda. <coughs> Rupert, suddenly I want to run! Chase me! <laughs> oh, now I'm sad. We brought you some chocolates. Oh, I can't eat those chocolates on account of my diabetes. Remember they had to take my foot? Look on the bright side. Now you get your shoes half price. Ha ha ha. Alright, maybe I'll have one. Oh boy! Ah! What the fuck? Why would you do that? 
Hey, you guys, Lois says it's time for dinner. So you ever notice when two black guys come in your convenience store and one go one way and one go the other way? What they doing? What they stealing? Who with me? <laughs> you stay out my store! All you stay out my store! I remember you face! A lot of people say that Stacy's no good and that she slept with this guy and done that guy and even did some handwork on this guy. But I'll tell you something, that experience is going to work in her favor late in the game. You know what a heck of a wedding? Brett Favre. Spopo. And then we go to an A minor. Getting a little cloudy out here. Looking like we might have some weather. Then we go to E minor. Oh, definitely got some weather. Things are a little more complicated than they seemed at first. And then we go back to my house. Hey, hey, that's the guy. That's the guy whose chin looks like a... a... balls. <laughs> <laughs> we can go where we want to, place all they will never find. And we can act like we come from a... No, 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 no! Oh, that's got all my stink of the day in it. That's nasty. So how'd the medical experiments go? So good, Lois, so good. I'm gonna squeeze right in here if my thighs will let me. Ha ha ha! Oh, Gambling is illegal in this town. Says who? Says me. You got a problem with that? I'm not really sure. Kind of waiting for you to exhale. Actually, yeah, I do have a problem with that. Hello? What the? What, what, who's there? What's going on? Whatever's happening here, just knock it off. Oh, cool. Look at that. Hey, Chris, go long. Ah! Ah! Touchdown! Dear Lord, please give me the cheat codes for Mike Tyson's punch out. I have been stuck on Bald Bull for four years. I tried left, left, up, B, dodge, uppercut, but he still knocks me out. And you know, they say you're supposed to go right, B, up, dodge, left, uppercut. Well, listen to me telling you how to play the game. You can get a scratching post down at Walmart for $2, pair of Lee jeans for $9. You know, they got seats for children now. You put them right in your car. Supposed to make them safer. Only problem is you can't lean your seat all the way back. Oh. Okay, you you can read the next one. <laughs> no, you can't. No, you. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's let's read it both together. Okay. Ready? Okay. Here's, Here's Ollie, Ollie Williams, Williams with, with a blacky weather, weather forecast. forecast. How's the weather look, Ollie? Not too bad. Wow, my favorite PB and J with the crust cut off. What'd you get? Your crusts. That's it. No, I also got an orange peel and a picture of mom eating a turkey leg. Chris Griffin, you are undoubtedly the most unpopular boy in school. I am? What about Smiley McGee over there? Hello. Lois, I'm fat and I'm stupid and I fart at times that ruin my father-in-law's social occasions and that's why I'm never invited to them. You pay me now? Ooh, there's Joe. Say, Joe, I think you're cool. Joe, I think you're cool. Well, thank you, Brian. That's going to get me through the rest of this yard work. No, just kidding. You suck. No, just kidding. You suck. Queer. Queer. When I'm lost in your eyes. I don't even care. They don't know what they is talking about. Next time they hear about me, they, they, they's going to be like, we was wrong about Stewie. Because cause that's going to be huge. I, that's going to be bigger than every one of all y'alls. I got you now, mouth! Yeah? Well, up your ass, cat. Quickly, quickly, quickly! Run fast, run fast, quickly! I like to eat people from other planets. Especially y'all. I like to eat you with my little mouth, too. Oh, now y'all get back up inside me, little mouth. I wants to play, too. Get back inside. I'll get you when we's eating them. Zoop. I've got so many problems. Hey, nothing that can't be fixed by staring at a lake. High school is such a serious thing. 
these problems matter. If he says one more cool thing, he's in. I wear long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts under long sleeve shirts. Wow. Oh my god, you're oh my awesome. God, you're so, so cool. Awesome. Wipe your shoes on the mat when you come in the house. Someone just clean that floor. Woohoo! Say what, what? Ha ha! Hey guys, let's go swim in the old quarry! Yeah! Wait a minute, kids. Don't go swimming in that quarry. It's dangerous. Wow! Thanks, G.I. Jose! You know, you're not supposed to be in the house, Brian. You're more of an outdoor dog. What the hell does that mean? I ain't done nothing to antagonize nobody. What, a droid can't walk down the desert no more? I got rights, too. Who's there? <laughs> Thank you, we're the Cantina Band. If you have any requests, shout them out. Play that same song. All right, same song, here we go. Did you hear something? Probably just another drill. You know that last drill we had? I was about to finally bone my girlfriend, and then we heard that there was this drill, and she told me there was no way. Oh, Vince Vaughn's on the cover of Entertainment Weekly. Here's my summary of every Vince Vaughn movie. Oh, I'm incapable of loving another person. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. The end. I don't even want to look at his face. Which calls to mind the question once again, why, with all the two-armed youngsters waiting in the minor leagues, does this team stick with an armless second baseman? And he hasn't had a hit in ever. In ever, Jerry. I'd have to give it to Janet Reno, because I've always had this business plan for home delivery of prescription medications, and that, that seems like it's more her market. This is stupid. I want to talk about vaginas! Yeah. Oh, and you got a little tear in your pants there. Oh, that's on purpose, though, isn't it? Uh, uh, you're a bad boy. You're a bad boy. Society wants your pants to be intact, but you're just not going to listen, are you? Look at this one. A desk of Cheez-Its. A desk? Where, where are you getting these units of measurement from? Mary? <laughs> that is still funny. Okay, you stay right here, big funny gal. I'll be right back with... A hammock of cake. Don't worry, I'm not taking you pansies. I'm taking my new friends. But this is Parker, Quentin, and Portland. Is Portland the black one? Portland is the black one. Hey guys, I wrote a song. Oh, that's great. Oh, good, Ringo. Fantastic. You know what? I'm gonna put it right here. Right on the refrigerator. That way we'll get to see it every day. All right. This is a song I wrote last summer. It's called Water. My hair is growing, growing all the time. All right, sweetie, you ready to get some new notebooks and protractors and slacks? I want blue jeans. You're getting slacks! Uh, is everyone okay? I swallowed my retainer, but I'll do a little stool fishing later. Looks like we're gonna have to take more drastic measures. Peter, say you're not gonna have sex with me. What? Just say it. I'm not gonna have sex with you. Ah, guys, let me out of here! Now, you said you would do whatever's necessary to help you lose weight. Please, let me out! Glenn, is it okay if I stay the night? <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Well, hey, oh, listen, I was really sorry to hear about your dad. Oh, that means a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the wake. I was out of town. It's okay. Thanks for the flowers. Oh, it's the least I could do. Hey, Chris, get over here. You gotta meet my buddy, Bob Hanley. Hi, Mr. Hanley. I'm Chris. I heard a lot about you, sir. Not only did I not give away your book, I'm launching an investigation, and I'm gonna nail the guy who did it. Uh-huh. And maybe it's more than one guy. Maybe it's a ring. A deep ring I can only penetrate by nailing a bunch of guys. Wait, are you, are you still talking about my book? Oh, yeah. Maybe it's too many guys for me and I have to bring in a private dick. Close the door on your way out, Brian. I need privacy to think about dicks for hire. Escalate me. Stop, wait. I want Mrs. Padbury Wilkerson back. Sorry, Mrs. Padbury Wilkerson is in the loo. Bring back that southern guy. Sorry, I'm busy watching Mrs. Padbury Wilkerson use the john. Can I talk to someone else? Literally anyone? I'm Gilbert Gottfried, and I was fired by Aflac for no reason. Well, there, there was some reason. <gasps> Evelyn? Evelyn?
Then I said, ain't that the punchline to it? It looks like somebody's mom died or, or something. I don't know. You, you, this, you, you'll take care of this, right? Whoever's in there definitely shouldn't be. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, sure you are. Hey, you mind flush it for me, pal? No arms over here. Well, I suppose it's the least I could do. Oh my God, it's bigger than you. <laughs> We're going to New Orleans, the party capital of America. Home of the all-you-can-pay straight. i tell you one thing, it's all about the beads down there. We all know what's going on here. It's just implied, but we all know what's going on in this thought bubble. The kids don't know, but we do. <laughs> Oh my God, this is worse. I feel amazing, like a bride on his wedding day. At last, my love has come along. Right here in Italy. Hey, now those were our passports. We don't need them anymore. Kids, I got an announcement. He's wearing a rubber. We're staying in Italy. We're Italian now. What? Are you kidding? Well, if we're going to be Italian, I guess we should start murdering our brothers. Where are you at? You break my heart, Chris. You break my heart. Hey, Bon, you busy? Should I get the pump? Oh, no need. Let's do this. Lois Griffin, you are adding spice to that marriage. Wow, look at me, making a difference for those in need. Would you like to add a dollar to your bill to fight cancer? No, I gave a disabled guy an erection. Welcome to the inner vault. Penile identification required. Let me handle this. That's amazing. How the hell did you match it? Oh, I didn't match the shape. I just stuck it in there and broke it. Having a little trouble this morning? No, no, I'm doing great. Look, I already got Stewie and Brian changed. Ow. I can't believe Peter's lost his voice. How's he gonna insult Meg now? Well, I don't know if it's gonna work, but he brought a whiteboard. <laughs> Meg's got the ball. Peter, quick, write something mean. You're doing to this game what R. Kelly did to all the... Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying the rest of that. Trust me. I bought the absolute latest issue of Archie Comics, and this is what the kids are wearing. Oh, hey, fellow teens. Wait a minute. Teenagers don't have wheelchairs. No! <laughs> Did you have sex with this underage girl? I don't want to go to jail, but I really want to take credit. Quagmire, I'm afraid you're under arrest for statutory rape. <sighs> All right, but let me just send the pictures I took of her last night to all my friends. Uh, oh, yeah. Boom. You're disgusting. Take them away. We've got all the awesome evidence we need. Donkey Kong sucks. I could build the same game on our house. Donkey Kong house? Sorry I put you in a dress, Stewie. We needed a damsel. Hey, do I look upset? Carol! What is all this noise? I'm trying to buy everything on Amazon in here. Barrel! Ah, my foot! Oh, I think it's broken! Uh-oh, next level! Pumpkin Spice. Sounds like a reject from a female British pop band. Quit tossing your scarf over your shoulder to punctuate your jokes. You know what, Peter? I like me. Look, guess your weight. With a line that long, I'll guess my own weight. 30 minutes. Oh, see you in a few. Got scarfed up. Look out! Oh my god! Holy crap! Oh man, Joe is gonna be so pissed! Thank god all we hit were those trash cans. Oh my god! Oscar! Uh, tell my ex-wife to go yourself. Very on brand. Right up to the end. Joe, hold your handcuffs over my lap. What the hell is that? Swiss Army penis.
Well, Quagmire, that's incredible. Peter? Well, yours are made of a stronger metal. We're gonna have to go with the acetylene torch penis. Don't, don't look right at it. My STDs help it burn brighter. Yeah. After a wonderful night, I, I thought we could get some breakfast. <laughs> Clearly you're not familiar with how this works. Here, let me help you to the door. You're a jerk, Glenn Quagmire. One of these days, you're gonna get what you deserve. You better put something warm on. You got an icicle forming down there. Dumb broad left her electric tampon warmer. Lighting his cigar right above... Stewie, help! It hurts! Reverse the pill! Let me die! Ooh, I wish I could, but the pills were in the house, so... Yeah. Stewie! 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 You... Hey, you ever accidentally masturbate to young pictures of your mom? Who the f*** starts a conversation like that? I just sat down! Well, that doesn't totally surprise me. A friend of mine staying in my house got, um, injured, and my homeowner's insurance wouldn't pay her doctor bills. Said the policy didn't cover an active rod. I'm your mother. I can feel your lies in my ovaries. The doctor said those were cysts. From your lies? They're not gonna talk, Lois. I say we hook them up to the lie detector. Peter, that's not a lie detector. That's a ride-on sex machine. It is? Well, it got me to sing like a bird. Stop rolling it into rooms! We never know what you're gonna do. It's usually silly or dangerous, but it's also kind of awesome. Yeah. Remember when he had tiny arms for like three months? Or when you brought home that horse. Or that falcon. Or that parrot. Lot of illegal animals. Or when that little guy lived in his neck. What the hell was that? Every few years, he fights a giant chicken and destroys a city. No one's named a good thing yet. What is it, Peter? You will die in a plane crash and be reincarnated as a prophylactic. All right. No, no, not all right. Hey, where's Dad? He said he was going to help me with my science fair project. Up here, kids. Thoughts? We're going to call you Mr. Skin. Um, uh, Oh, really? Uh, well, uh, we'll call you something else. Really loco, unless I shivved someone, and you're the one guy without gang protection, so... Ah! Sorry, Quagmire. As a not cop, I have to shiv a guy in the Latin gang and then blame it on Cle... Ah! Oh! Oh! No one made me do this. I'm just sick of your overt racism. Guys, guys, stop. Stop. Look at us. We're shiving each other on Thanksgiving. Oh, wait, no one shivved Cleveland. Ah! But what are we doing? One of the perks of a cross-country trip is stopping for a meal and meeting the friendly folks who make up the heart and soul of our country. Hello, we're from the Northeast. Well, there's two things you can do from here. Break it off or go full scumbag. If you're interested in going scumbag, I sell a starter kit. It includes a second phone, fake addresses, and some golf shirts. I don't golf. Nobody does. Golf was invented purely so husbands can cheat on their wives. A six-hour game in a completely different town where you need special shirts? I, I don't think so. How fast you were going, sir? Peter? Hey, Cleveland, this is just so we can talk without getting spotted by Lois and Donna. I need you to step out of the car, sir. Peter, there's got to be a better way. He's got a knife! Ow, 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 ow. Sorry, Cleveland, it's got to be authentic. Stay down! Ow. Stay down! Ow. Cleveland, try to grab my gun. Oh, trying to grab my gun, are you? Ow. Ow. Hey, rookie, save some for me. Wow, the whole gang's back together. Shut up! We don't need you in this town. Ow. Ow. This family is what's best for Anna Lee. This is her home now. 
I gotta let her go. I'm proud of you, Quagmire. Thanks, man. Hey, who knows? Maybe I'll bump into her in 18 years. What? Did you really think I was gonna change that much? Get out, everybody! Uh, what does Xerxes eat? Rodents. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ah, ah, what the hell? Ah, 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 Peter, make him stop! <laughs> hey, what do you got going on down here, Quagmire? You, you, got, a, you got a rodent situation? Uh, no! Well, Xerxes seems to think there is. Get him off, Peter! Admit you got a rodent in there. Peter! Admit it! Oh, you scared him out the front! Tony, come back! Don't test me, Starling. A census taker did that once, and I ate his liver with dried Cheerios and a mashed up banana. You can't go through here. It's only for people who work for Miss Ryan. You have to let me through. I'm Ed Sheeran. You're not Ed Sheeran. You're a weird-looking baby with an English accent. <gasps> oh, my God. Right this way, Mr. Sheeran. What's going on? Oh. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do with you. There's some frozen steaks in the freezer. Bathroom's down the hall to the right. Uh, if you ever come home and there's a tie on the door, it means I'm frogging someone, so give me at least a... Couple hours. You smoke? Now you're overreacting, Lois. And you can't spell overreacting without ovary. Because you're a girl. I'm not overreacting. Hey, uh, just an FYI, uh, really no reason to go into any greater detail than this. Uh, Stewie should probably never use this pacifier again. Okay, so I'll talk to him tomorrow? <laughs> All right, they're probably holding up a low deck. You take the right side, I'll take the left. You're gonna need this. What? I, I've, I've never killed anybody before. Relax, they're Arabs. People will still be rooting for you. Hey! <sighs> Son of a bitch. Oh, this is like a video game. Huh, I'm kinda good at this. Daddy, I sort of lost Tatum. You what? I swear it was an accident. Don't worry, Lois. We'll split up and look for her. On it. <laughs> Damn it, Chris. Now that's going to be in our Fox promo. Sorry, Sorry Dad. Dad. Tonight on Fox, Chris Griffin meets Chris Griffin? Ah, there it goes. <laughs> Sorry. If I ever see you anywhere near my house, I'll blow your head off! Now lay there and die, you piece of crap! Your jury duty is an important cornerstone in our democratic society. Yeah, that's what separates us from the monkeys. That and the armed guards at the zoo. Man, they got some sexy monkeys down there. So, how long you been in beauty school? Two months. Well, tonight we're doing facials. Badass, give me your wallet. I could give you my wallet, but what I think you really want is love. It's true. The most random dream. Peter, you wanted to go swimming in our pool, which of course we don't have. Uh-huh. You had this ridiculously giant towel. Uh-huh. Oh, and get this, it had Nemo on it. Oh, boy, that, that, is, that is some dream. And he was wearing giant sunglasses. Oh, and we had cats for some reason. Uh-huh. Yep, I backed up all the way into the show before us. Wife talking about her dream. Homer, you've got company. Why are there two sets of prices? One's the Emmy winner discount. Ah. Black coffee and toast, please. Glenn Griffin, uh, I'm here to pick up my son Peter for a ball game, uh, doctor's appointment. Peter is your son? That is affirmative. Uh, because you look a lot more like that child over there. Daddy? Oh, God! Daddy? Oh, God! Papa? Oh, God! Hey, there are no kids in here, right? No, just me. Oh, thank God. You want to have unprotected sex? Hmm. Oh, Brian's a complete dick. We all know that. But I think we're losing sight of the point that Bonnie's a weird slut who's always letting you know she's open for business. What? When am 
I doing that? Oh, come on. When are you not doing that? With that boo-boo baby voice and that still breastfeeding rack? Ugh, give me some of that! ...of what it's like to have sex with Quagmire. Hi. Bye. Can you come upstairs and tell me if this great chicken smells funny? Be right up, babe. Oh, man. This is worse than... ...way to kill two birds with one stone. Like this. The key to that, Lois, is big rock, small birds. Oh, and I also figured out how to achieve two goals with one action. Oh, no. What? I didn't know you worked out at this gym, too. Uh, hey, Brian, hang on. I'm just finishing a set. Come on, come on, two more. Come on, come on, you gotta want it. Nice job. Let's get you a rub down. Listen, good luck with everything, and uh, call me if you get arrested. I will. Thanks. That's what it's all about, Glenn. Don't rape it back, rape it forward. Lois, I've hired some 1980s black breakdancers to do their routine on your stomach. Peter, come on. I'm having this baby, and that's the end of it. But, Lois, if they do it good enough, they'll save the rec center from being torn down and replaced by some mall. Ozone, turbo, do your thing. Oh, no. Lois, those are 90s black guys. Those aren't 80s black guys at all. Run! We're here to dance for the kids. Run, 80s black guys. You're no match for the 90s black guys. <gasps> My Luna Bar for women! Please call the DWP. I'm stuck in here. So now it's 2 a.m., the bars are closed, and we are all still quite divorced. Can you provide us with more alcohol? Ah. Uh. I don't know. Let me check the rules. Oh! Ah. I don't know why they wrote the card that way. Are you sure you can't let us in? I'll show you a picture of a naked student. That's my son! Oh, well, I have others. Uh, no, that's him again. Oh, oh, that's also him. Okay, these are all crisp. Okay, that was weird. That was weird. Right? Oh, my God, so weird. I tell you something, if he touches my daughter, I'm gonna be kicking butts and taking names and then giving those names to other people whose butts I kick. <laughs> What's your name? Derek. <laughs> What's your name? Michael. You're Derek now. All right, Meg, stay incredibly still. I'm gonna whip that cigarette out of your mouth and maybe not slice your face in half. Dad, I don't wanna do this. Stay still. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool too. Hey, Dad, that's a cool whip. Ah, I thought you couldn't understand me. Chris, could you please get Hannah a thank you basket and schedule her next appointment? I'd like to see her again in two weeks. Of course. Mr. Quagmire can fit in you at 3 o'clock a week from Thursday. That works. And you know to fast the night before? Yep. And would you like to leave your panties in the fishbowl for a chance to win a free lunch? Good luck. When are you going to do that drawing anyway? Oh, there's no drawing. I just like smelling the bowl. You know, you're doing a great job, Chris. Why don't you jerk the rest of the day off? My mama always said life was like a box of good and plenty. Most people just throw it away. We paid a lot of money for that house, and taking the ass end of a shampoo bottle barely makes a dent into their hall. There. Definitive proof that your mother always describes big things as being smaller than they are. Did you hear that, Chris? We've all seen it, Dad. Straight flush. You got a strip. What about tonight? What? Oh, did you say I'm never gonna get out of here? No, I was telling my horse to get naked. Oh, you could get a hair transplant. Oh, yeah, like one of those guys pretending to get out of the pool? That looks all right. Yeah, come on, Quagmire, get the hair transplant. Come back to us. You're right. This isn't me. Baldness is for women's crotches, not men's heads. There you go, that's pretty gross. Anyway, you guys got the talent, but what you need is a manager. Someone with no talent who can take a lion's share of your earnings. you do that for us? Sure I would. So what do you say? Can I be your manager? You betcha. All right, put it there. No, I've seen your prescriptions. Let's just say we're doing it. Okay, now to loudly watch this Aaron Sorkin masterclass.
Hi, I'm Aaron Sorkin, and I've been paid a lot of money to give you false hope about your ridiculous dream. Shipping reports filled out by 5 o'clock today. Shut up, Kyle. I'm Peter Griffin. I'm a dorky, fat numbnuts. Kyle, I said shut up. You're a poop nose. Boxing is a rapidly growing part of the field. You should consider your wife competing for a belt. Well, she did look like she knew what she was doing up there. Think about it. Here's my card. <laughs> what can I say? I really like watching her box. That means two things. <gasps> Holy crap, what happened? Well, I think we simply found your true height. Before years of poor posture and wear and tear crushed your spirit and your spine. Wow! Mr. Griffin, let's discuss risk factors. Do you lead a lifestyle that's sedentary? Pet sedentary? I'm saying you need to strengthen your core. Hi, Glenn. Uh, hey, will you sign a petition to overturn Mayor West's ban on gay marriage? Gay marriage? Ah, oh, come on. Two halves can't make a hole without a hole. Giggity, 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 ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Peter, that was a private conversation. That doesn't change the fact that you want to steal my wife. Hey, get your hands off me. Goodbye, terrible women. What's Dad doing over there with Chris? Oh, he's telling him that he's no longer his favorite son. No! No, Daddy! 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 I didn't even tell him. He just does not like to be touched. He sees me as a woman. Oh, no. This is the universe giving me what I deserve for being such a pig all the time. From now on, I'm going to do things differently. Men are jerks. Let's swear off of them and find comfort in each other. Come here, you guys. Mm. Yeah. Glenn, would you feed Mittens? Mittens has food in his bowl. That's old food. Mittens, shut up. Mittens, shut up! Don't you talk to Mittens that way! Mittens is a member of this family! Mom, you want this three-way to happen, you're gonna have to change your tone. Oh, boy. I hope there's a scale in there. I'd like to have a before and after on this one. I'll be out in a minute. I really need to go. She said she'll be out in a minute. Hey, baby, how'd you like to share a pair of skates? Sure. Oh, never mind. Boy, you look a lot better from the back. You jerk! Oh, hey, baby, you want to go somewhere? No, 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 wait, wait, Quagmire. Remember what's on the other side. He'll win this game. Wait for someone else to win and steal his card. G27. Bingo! It's go time. What do we do, sneak up behind him? Nope, he's got cataracts. Follow my lead. Bingo, bitches! Bingo. In a fighting shape, I want you to drink this glass of raw eggs. I don't see any yolks. Just drink it. Should have just stuck to the plan. Well, I figured you might get soft on me, so I hired an old friend to scarb him for life. Hey there, sweetie. How old are you? Sixteen. Eighteen? You're first. Mom! I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, gig, good D. <laughs> like the movie The Ring. Awesome. Ah! Come back here, you! Ah! Giggity, giggity, crabbity, giggity! But in this universe, Christianity never existed, which means the dark ages of scientific repression never occurred, and thus humanity is a thousand years more advanced. Hey, look, there's Quagmire. Thanks, honey. Say hi to your husband. Oh, I got AIDS again. Better take my NyQuil cold flu and AIDS. All gone. Here's your baby. She's beautiful. <laughs> Isn't she, sweetheart? She sure is, Joe. It's hard to believe she's already 18. How is that possible? I don't know, but I better make it look like there was a struggle. Someone punched me in the face. 
I'm a good friend to you. They're so lonely, they're practicing kissing each other. I don't think they're practicing. Oh. 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 So, you ladies ever been penetrated? Hey, Boo Boo, let's see what we got in this picnic basket. Tell the other bears what you just saw. Hey, bud, how was Florida? But it's just a gravy they put on french fries. Stewie, you've taken this mini fridge thing too far. I'm moving this thing out of here. Oh, be careful, Pry. Not a good idea. You don't want to piss off Guy. Yesterday, he crow-hopped a dip tin and knocked a guy out. Oh, wow. Did he really? Well, now I'm so very scared of Guy. Ah! Oh, ho, ho, Guy. Se fout un grand lancé. Je crois qu'il est mort, eh? Who England wife can get. Look, if I could do it all over again, I'd save her. Because now I know it was a dolphin and there was no real danger. Peter, don't you see? We got to make you the hero again. Wait, say that again. We got to make you the hero again. Yep, yeah, you got weird teeth. Wait, what did you say before about the hero thing? I said we've got to make Peter the hero. All right, he does have weird teeth. I just have to show Lois I can still be her hero. That's exactly what I was saying. I just want to swing by the Army Recruiting Center and give a piece of my mind to that jerk who tried to brainwash Chris. We are going to be so late. I'm not going to have a partner. I'm going to have to be partners with a teacher. It's just wrong for the military to mess with kids' minds. They're all going to wind up in therapy like Peter was. Every time my daughter opens her mouth, I just want to punch her in the face. She's really annoying. Uh-huh. All right, let's explore that. What the hell's wrong with you? Your skin's, like, moving around or something. I believe I'm having some sort of seizure. I just want to swing by the Army Recruiting Center. Listen, why don't we head back to my place, grab a bite to eat, and watch the big curling match on TV? Canada's in the world final against Mexico. No, 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 no. Does anyone need the remote? Oh, my God. What the hell happened to Stewie? Why the hell does Stewie look like this? Well, I took him to the gym, and the colorful gent there advised me that I put him on steroids. And you listened to him? Yeah, I believe everything everyone tells me anywhere. Ah! Hey, what the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there a problem? Huh? You want to go? You want to go? Go? What, what are you talking about? I'm talking about go. That's what I'm talking about. First one's on the house. I got things to do. Oh, uh, where do you think you're going? I'm going downstairs. Oh, there's a toll in the hole now. Ten bucks. Look, can I... Uh, I just... Uh, uh, I'm just messing with you, man. You can do whatever you want. I was just kidding you. Why are you so serious? All right, everyone. Because today is Christmas Eve... <laughs> not yet, Griffin. I thought it might be a nice treat. Some... Griffin! Thank you to let everyone leave a little bit early. Christmas! Fine. Everybody have a nice holiday. Teach. Ah, I wouldn't worry, Lois. I never did very well in school, either. I even failed homeroom. Peter Griffin? There. <laughs> Let's not be hasty, Your Majesty. W won't you please join me as my personal guest in the Barrington Room? The Barrington Room? Peter, that's the most exclusive room in all of New England. Yeah, I hear it's even harder to get in there than the University of Arizona. Well, it's beating. Welcome to the Wildcats. Listen, lover, have you been reading Lois's romance novels again? A few, but I'm just saying, I bet your coital congress will send Holly into paroxysms of ecstasy. I get off. What? I'm being supportive. After all, confidence will help you maintain optimal stamina during your lovemaking. That's enough. Have it your way, Brian. I myself am a student of the pleasures of the flesh. Listen to your lover, Brian. Ah, dang it! Do you have any idea how fast you were going, sir? Peter? Hey, Cleveland, this is just so we can talk without getting spotted by Lois and Donna. I need you to step out of the car, sir. Peter, there's gotta be a better way. He's got a knife! Ah, 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 ah. It's a 
Sorry, Cleveland, it's gotta be authentic. Stay down! Oh. Stay down! Ah. Cleveland, try to grab my gun. Oh, trying to grab my gun, are you? Ah. Oh. Hey, rookie, save some for me. Wow, the whole gang's back together. Just shut up! We don't need you in this town! Ow, ow. Hi, sweetie! Ugh, look at us staring. What are you looking at, huh? God, I should take her out right here with these, man. Oh, hey, Lois. Oh, you like staring? Oh, why don't I give you a closer look? Yeah, yeah, you want some of this, Maury Poe, bitch? Patoo, patang! Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, you come back for more? Huh? Patoo, patoo! I'd freaking drop her ass. Oh, an unfamiliar dog. Why don't you go away? I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> Rupert! Oh, dear God, somebody help! Oh, honey, I'm afraid Rupert had a little injury. Oh, oh, Rupert, please live. Please, I'll never be short with you again. We, we, we'll go away. We, we'll go to Hawaii. Would you like that? I always envisioned how it would be. Either you want another waffle? Uh, I can't, Lois. I promised Janice I'd take a shift. Can I get two eggs scrambled on toast? Sure thing, honey. Adam and Eve on a raft, wreck them. I'd like a hot dog with ketchup and some jello, please. Paint a bow wow red and a side of nervous pudding. Can I have a well done burger with lettuce and tomato? Burn one, drag it through the garden, pin a rose on it. Can I use your bathroom? Got a telephone pole heading to the swimming hole, spray it with sunshine. You're all gonna ditch me when I need you most? Yeah, Meg, it's natural selection. This is how it works in the wild. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey there. Hey, nice spot, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great, especially because of that thing over there. You know what's in there? Corn. Really? Wow, I could go for some corn. <laughs> You're dark, Raj. I don't care. Lois, know you're here? No clue. I brought beer. I brought pot. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought pot. I brought acid. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought crystal meth. I brought 10 rounds of chemotherapy. I think we may have gone too far. Now I feel bad for laughing at my dad when he went through this. And we swapped blood! Look at my lip! It's a disgusting herpes sore! And now I have some very uncomfortable phone calls to make! Hola, Handy Manny's Repair Shop. You break it, we fix it! Manny, Manny, I'm gonna need you to take me off speakerphone for this. Come on, Stewie, we're going. Just a moment, Brian. I'm pretending I'm a fireman. I love playing pretend. My name's Peter, and I work in the brewery. Now I'm gonna put on my pants and go talk to my co-workers that these pants have stool in them. Lewis, what are you doing? I want to sleep in your bed. Oh, good night, honey. I love you. This is for your own good. Lewis, where, where, where are you going? Lewis? Lewis? Lewis, answer me! Damn you, I will not be ignored! Get back in here! Get back in here and love me! Ah! Oh, come on, it's not that bad. Your life could be worse. You could be a black. A black. Go ahead. A blanket. Well, I'm glad everything's back to normal. Peter, your mother's dead. Yeah, but at least she's alive. What are you talking about, Peter? Well, you see, Lois, the key in life is to lie to yourself about reality. Smile through everything. All the bad things, well, you just pile them away in a place that will come back one day in the form of, I don't know, rage? But everything's fine. I'll see you in bed. Especially don't like the way you hump that chair in the den. Well, Rupert seems to like my humping. What did you say? Rupert. Humped him for two hours yesterday. He just laid there and took it. Did he? Yeah, and now every time you're sleeping with him, he's gonna be thinking of me. Hey, Juice. Uh, is it all right if I call you Juice? Great. Uh, listen, I was wondering if you could give me a little advice on how to murder a woman and get away with it. Oh, cool. Look at that. Hey, Chris, go long. Ah! Touchdown! Good grief. Lois, take it easy. No, you know what? This is my own fault for listening to you. I forgot you don't even know your ass from a hole in the ground. Is that... Is that my ass?
Yeah, that was me. I was the one who threw up in a sink. Guys, you gotta let us out of here. The real criminal's getting away. Yeah, the bastard's making a break for it, just like South America. Hmm, a lot of black guys over there. Hey, man, where you going? I'll be back. I'm coming back. I'll be right back. Sup, man? Yeah, yeah, sup. Keep walking, you boondocks ripoff. I know you're gonna have fun and make lots of good friends. Yeah, and not fake friends, like guys whose wives are friends. <laughs> you have to get me that recipe. Oh, my God. The cookbook? It's right in the kitchen. Sports? No. Movies? No. Hiking? No. Cars? No. Porn? porn? Yes! Gay porn? No. Oh, you know, this is why... You, Brian, you remember the last couple of weeks I kept saying, can I have a couple of minutes of your time to talk to you about something? This is what it was about. This evening is ruined. Look, I, Wait, what? This evening is ruined. The whole evening is ruined. Why are you saying it like that? Saying what? I'm just pointing out the party's ruined. You know what? I'm not going to get sucked into this. Okay, just so I'm sure, really? Are, are you just trying to piss me off, or is that really how you say that? What are you talking about? I'm talking about this ruined evening. That's not how you say ruined. What? Ruined? What do you call the remains of ancient Greek structures? Ruins. And how would you describe this evening? Well, ruined, of course. This evening is ruined. Say ruined. 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 Dumbass. Oh, Brian, don't be cruel. <gasps> You're me! Yes, I've come because my Terminator robot just tried to kill me. What happened? Brian and I were friends. He ruined what could have been a perfect Instagram post with a sarcastic comment. Ugh, I hate that. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta get this pic. Wait a minute, what should we do in the picture? I don't know, something fun? Well, the caption is going to be double trouble, so let's work backwards from there. Have you heard it's in the stars? Next July we call... By Europe! Fuck you! Fuck the both of you! I didn't say anything. Oh, thanks, Brian. This is a bunch of shit! Okay, you know what, Mort? Shut up! All right, just shut the fuck up! I don't give a shit about you! You know, we can just leave you here! Yeah, right, just leave me here, that's great! We're in occupied Europe, and if you haven't noticed, I'm Jewish! Oh, I noticed. Helen Keller would notice. Ha <laughs> ha. Eat my ass, Brian! Don't you mean your ass neck? Shut up! That's a real thing! I'm... Okay, but I gotta be home by seven. I'm supposed to talk to the police about that shooting I witnessed. Good lord, you all right? If I die, leave two dollars worth of flowers right here. Here's my fourth grade class photo. Lean it against a cheap candle. Well, should I call an ambulance? No, call Channel 9 and have a gap-toothed woman say, quote, he never bothered nobody. Hey, I'm dying up here. What is this, a Tommy Lee pool party? Come on, Lewis, get with me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, my God, Stewie, are you all right? Oh, my sweet baby. And to think I ignored your cries for attention. I'm so sorry, honey. Never again, Stewie. I'm going to give you all the love you could ever want. Forget it, you neglectful, swag-bellied measle. You had your chance and you blew it. Well, now you're too late. I hope they charge you with child abuse for my broken arm. I'll testify against you, just like I did against Michael Jackson. Peter, I know you love it here, but riding your bike around town isn't paying the bills, and the kids aren't learning anything at that Italian school. Look at these big ones. Ah! Is this calculus? I don't know. Well, let's see what fascinating pubescent treasures Chris has got hidden away. Ooh, Hustler magazine. I finally get to see what a vagina looks. Ah, ah, oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! You can't hurt anyone anymore. All right, but just one last piece of advice. Remember, listen to her body and respond the way you'd want her to respond to you. Uh, okay, thanks. That's very helpful. You'll be a wonderful lover, Brian. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, you, you just had a little, uh, something. Miss Brian, big corporations never tell the truth. Look at the Kleenex industry. Well, we had another good quarter. I guess a lot of people are sneezing out there. Jerry, I'm going to let you in on something, and it can't leave this room. Our research shows the primary use of our product is sperm. What? Yeah. 
and brace yourself for this. The second biggest use is women crying about nonsense. But I thought sneezing Jerry, was... Jerry, Jerry, it's sperm and nonsense. Oh my God, look you guys, it's death! Hey, has anyone got a cell phone I can borrow? God's been paging me for like 20 minutes. Wait, you still use a pager? Yeah, well, we thought once we got Steve Jobs in heaven, we'd all get iPhones, but he never showed up. Wait a minute. You work with God? Oh, Death, we've been looking all over for that guy. Will you take us to him? Sure, but don't you mean her? <laughs> Look at your faces. Of course it's the dude. Come on, let's go. All right, Chris, here they come. Now remember what we practiced. Now what are you going to call the one in the middle? Isosceles triangle. What? Come on, Chris. We worked on this all night. I know. I also had a geometry test. Well, how'd that go? It's really him! I don't believe it! You, you did this for me? And to help you feel better, I made your favorite dinner. Cut green beans, Atkins friendly potato sticks arranged according to size from largest to smallest, and a Scooby Doo yogurt with Shaggy's eyes scratched out. Oh, it's perfect down to the last detail. Lewis, I was wrong about you. You're. You're my everything. Mommy loves you, sweetheart. Dewey loves Lois. Brian loves Olivia Dukakis. Oh, yeah, I do. Please forgive me, Mr. Oinkbaum. You will be missed. <coughs> there we are. What are you doing? None of your beeswax, Ramona. But if you must know, I need a plane ticket to San Francisco. <laughs> Good luck. Plane tickets are about 450 bucks. 400? Brian, hit me in the mouth. What? Why? I hear this tooth fairy gives you money for your teeth. Have at it. Uh, okay. No, no, don't, don't, don't. Stop, stop. Why did you stop? I said hit me. You flinched. Well, of course I flinched. You were going to hit me. Well, make up your mind. What do you want me to do? Hit me. No, ah, no, don't, don't, don't. <sighs> I'm sorry. Look, I know I'm being hard to read. <clears throat> All right, let's tie the rope around the statue and tow it out of here. All right, great. But before we begin, I'm just going to use the park bathroom at night. Stewie, no. I got a lollipop. That's great, bud. Now let's stop talking about that lollipop and get to work. So I'm gonna have herpes for the rest of my life, huh? Yeah, but most of the time it won't even be an issue. It only really flares up during periods of great stress, like your wedding day or a big job interview. So what would you say some of your weaknesses are? That, that that's probably one of them. I don't know, Peter. That'd be pretty tough to pull off. We just gotta be bold, like those backwards knee birds. Oh, what? What? Oh, what? What? What are you looking at? Oh, you coming for me? Nope. Nope. I'll just take a big backward knee step in the opposite direction. Yeah. Yeah, you think I'm afraid of you? I slept on your back last night, you oh, Great. I'm gonna get killed by a cat. He'll never let me live this down in doggy heaven. <laughs> hey, there's that guy who got killed by a cat. <laughs> Shut up. How'd you guys die? We bit kids. Woo! Biting kids! Yeah, unpettable! I miss biting kids. Good morning, boys. What's in store for today? Well, I thought we'd start with a vigorous power walk around the neighborhood. Whoa, 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 why? I was thinking we would just watch Dr. Oz and eat cold cuts off our stomach. Those people ain't taking good care of themselves. Uh, Brian, spit on me. Oh, that's nice. Now tell me I'm scum. How will that cool you off? Hmm? Hey, don't you look pretty today? Thanks, Mom. She's going to ask you for something. So listen, I was wondering, do you think you could take Stewie to a birthday party today? The birthday boy was premature, so he looks like a 12-inch tall Rachel Dretch. Why can't you do it, Mom? Uh, I can't take another party with that trio of judgy sitcom moms. <laughs> oh, hi, Lois. Gosh, I just love how you always look so comfortable. I know. Are those pajamas? And I'm the black one for unrealistic diversity. Anyway, this man is trying to kill I us. I told you not to travel to different universes. I can't help the skeleton crystals are available on Earth. Do you want to do what? Nobody in the multiverse steals from me. Especially not a baby in his talking town. How did you find us? Leave Brian out so of he's it. just an old man. Think we can solve this like adults. <laughs> All right, Stewie, tag in. Smells 
ocean diving at you. Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, Peter, do you mind if I hang out here a while? I accidentally made eye contact with a transvestite at a bar, and he followed me home. You knew what you were staring at. Get out of here, you mess. You were far away. I didn't know what you were. You know you want me. Shut up. Now go home. Nobody saw me come here. I said shut up. Sneak around back. I'm your brother, Chris. We're a team, and we've got to look out for each other. Like Owl and Costello. I mean, the fella's name on first base. Who? The fella playing first base. Who? The guy on first base. Who? I'm asking you who's on first. Who? That's what I'm asking you. Nothing will ever be funnier than misunderstandings. Howard, I have found you. Yeah. Oh my God, Stewie, you okay? Quick, somebody call an ambulance. This could need stitches. We don't want this to leave a scar. No, there's no time for an ambulance. We gotta take him to the hospital right away. Guys, I'm all right. I, I think Meg... Oh my god, he's delirious. He's talking nonsense. Quick, everybody in the car! Everybody, I've come up with the perfect plan to catch the bat. I bought this remote-controlled toy helicopter to which I have attached this handgun. And I tell you, this thing is not easy to fly. Peter, that doesn't seem very... Here he goes! Now, I don't have anything to control the trigger with, so I put it on a timer. But I don't remember how long I set it. Ah, we're all gonna die! Okay, so now the bat has a gun and the knives I gave him. What? Why would you give him knives? I didn't think it would matter. I was counting on this helicopter thing working. I'm gonna go work out again? It's like the eighth time today. I'm not satisfied until every vein is forced up against my skin. Look how vascular I am, Brian. If there's one thing women love, it's a vascular man. Ah, another day of being huge. Good morning, guns of Navarro. <gasps> oh, no! What's happening? I'll tell you what's happening. Your steroids have worn off. You're weak like everyone else. And guess what? There's a toll in the hall now. Stay away from me. Stay away from me! Stewie, no! And now... Here's something we hope you'll really like. Mayor West is crazy. He should have been locked up a long time ago. Yeah, there's definitely something off about him. I'm his physician. Okay, now we'll just test those reflexes. Hey, did you hear that? There's someone out there! Hello? We're in here! There are six of us! You bastards! I don't know why you're surprised by this. <laughs> it's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Could you put him back in and out a few times? I was born nine times that day. I need her love. I need her love and she's ignoring me. Well, let's see her try to ignore this. Lewis, help! I ate this whole jar of pills that looked like candy and now I feel sick. You look like a jackass. Can't hear you, Brian. I'm dead. All right. What did you do? Oh, that is so not cool. Hey, I'm not doing this. You have to, Chris. Siblings have to look out for each other, like the Mannings. Eli, you threw for three touchdowns today, which isn't bad, except Peyton had four. Well, Cooper got pre-approved for a Visa card today. Come on, guys. We all had a good day. Hey, Peter, my kid's selling Girl Scout cookies. And we're collecting for Janet's pregnancy. Softball sign up? Trick or treat for UNICEF? Oh, pitch in for Ed's retirement cake? Oh. Holiday party? Whoa. Company picnic? Oh. Secret set? Oh. Carpool info? Oh, finally! Now I can get myself to the. Uh oh! You don't have the nerve. Like hell, I don't! Getting to the top ahead of you is gonna be one of the greatest moments of my life. Might even beat graduating from chiropractic school. Robert Baker. Brad O'Bannon. Anyone. Good job, Brian. Don't worry, I'll help you through this. So, you want to get something to eat? Can we go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food? Oh, let's go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food! This could save us a lot of money. Yeah, everyone except Brian, because he bought a Prius. What a dumbass. <laughs> What, what, what I miss? Are we laughing at Brian? Ah, uh, Brian, you suck. Lewis! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! 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 Mama! Mama! 
Mama! Ma! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! Mommy! Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, we're done! I just hope we can handle it better than Blue and Yellow did when they split up. You were supposed to have the kids here by 5. We have plans. It's 5.15. Stop busting my hump, Alicia. Okay, you know what? Let's not, let's not do this in front of the kids. God, you're right. Whatever happened to us? Hey, baby. You ready for dinner? What's up, Scott? We gonna get some barbecue. Hey, Megan. Oh, hey, guys. Wait, did you just call me Megan? That's your name, isn't it? Well, actually, Meg is short for something else. Peter, would you give this to the nurse? Uh-huh. <laughs> Robots in disguise. How come every time I'm feeling happy, somebody's got to come along and ruin it? Are you enjoying your coffee, sir? Yeah, it's very smooth. Good flavor. What if we told you that we secretly replaced your coffee with Folgers Crystals? Wouldn't you feel like a dumbass? Because of how you just raved about it just now? You stupid son of a bitch. Folgers, drink us when you've been tricked into it. Don't waste your time. I'm not going to change my mind. I don't know, Bri. I can make things happen when I want to. Just ask my twin brother. And here's baby boy number one. I understand you've decided to name him Stewie. One more to go. And here he... Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Did Dave not make it? Lois! I know how to get her attention. Lois! I'm about to drink my first soda. Better come stop me. Mmm, that must be the sugar. Oh, God, that's good. Rupert, suddenly I want to run. Chase me! <laughs> oh, now I'm sad. Hey, you guys noticed how many Asians there are at this school? I mean, how'd they all get so smart? I don't know. Guess that's just the way God made them. Gentlemen, I give you the Asian. Ooh! Compact, hairless, and fiercely intelligent. The penises, while tiny, are extremely efficient. We're projecting 10 billion within five years. Also, there'll be different varieties that will all hate each other for some reason. Do they eat just, like, regular food? <laughs> no, 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 the opposite. <laughs> You'll run like a girl. Run like a man, you get a suit. I haven't felt this bad since I drove by that speed sign. <laughs> I never knew there could be such a thing as a perfect day. Don't frolic too much, Rupert. Save some energy for the hula contest. I used to be a celebrity baby photographer. Okay, Apple. Apple, smile for Peter. Smile for... No? No? Okay, okay, look over there. Who's that? Who's that? Who loves you over there? That's right. Can you smile for nanny number two? <laughs> That's it. There you go. And your mommy said that she'll be able to Skype at 8.30 if drinks don't turn into dinner. Get back here. Damn it. God. Oh my God, poor Chris. He's a social outcast like Scarface. Okay, we have a deal. You bring the money, I get you the coke. You got it, Scarface. Oh, my God! You can see that? The doctor said you wouldn't be able to! Yes, everyone can see that. That's why we call you Scarface. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We? All right, Jesus, these speed date nights are the best way to meet a lot of chicks fast. Now, go get them. So, where do you live? Everywhere. All places. Hopefully, inside you. This is kind of embarrassing, but are you okay with someone who smokes? Oh, yeah. Are, are you okay with someone who wanders the desert lecturing people on how to act? So, are you having a good Friday? Oh, is that supposed to be funny? Shut your mouth, bitch. How's the wine? It's terrific. That's my blood, you know. Where are you from? Israel. Quick, get the parachutes! There are no parachutes. All I could find was this. A raft? We're not sinking. We grew! We needed to eat, the same way birds need to fly. 
What do you mean you don't have our names on there? My wife and I absolutely have to be on this flight. I'm doing the best I can, sir. Do you have your confirmation number? I think you'll find all the information you need on here. Sir, this is just a piece of paper with the word South written on it. Can I speak to your supervisor? Oh, here's me getting my first haircut. Here's me getting my 351st haircut. And here's when I couldn't take no more. I killed that barber. Stewie, everyone is gonna die at some point. Everyone. So, like, even me? Yes, even you. You are going to die someday, Stewie. Wow. I guess you learn something new every day. Like the Black Eyed Peas. Hey, what's that? This is a guitar. Wow. Dad, I got bullied at school. They flipped up my lunch tray. Oh, that sucks. I wonder if that's the worst thing that ever happened to a guy. Whoa. Whoa! Billy, this guy in this book here, he's really getting the business. Yikes! Okay, I'm sorry, what happened at school today? The NFL experience. That sounds cool. Kid, you're the best. Sign with me and you're gonna make millions. Griffin, get out there! Ow! It's his knee. Doc! You'll never play football again. Too bad, kid. You was gonna buy me a house! Now I have headaches. I'm gonna save my brain for science. Our family could use a trip like this. Plus, it might be good for you and me, too. It's the most romantic country in the whole world, and God knows we could use a little romance in our marriage. What are you talking about? Just the other night, we did that role-playing. Did you like that game of Mysterious Intruder, Lois? I told you! I don't know who you are, and my name isn't Lois. Mine is. Let's do it again. We now return to Superman. <laughs> Lois, what's wrong? Clark, we all have breast cancer. The doctor says it's as if our breasts have been x-rayed five hours a day, every day for the last three years. Oh my god, that's terrible. First every woman I've ever known, and now you guys. West, what do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. And how about you, every Persian guy in the world? Quite BMW! True, Dad? Yeah, truth is, I don't know nothing about this place. I don't even know why it's called Nepal. The mountains look like nipples. Well, you can't just call a country nipples. What about Nepal? Ooh, I like that. Ha, shocker. God gets it right. You live in a house with all this junk. Rather stay in a house with small kids. So you can sleep on the couch. Uh, please take the potty seat off the toilet. Don't try to pee through it. There's juice boxes in the fridge, and if you get hungry, there's plenty of goldfish in the couch. Um, feel free to watch TV with the sound off, and the kids will be down here first thing in the morning to antagonize the dogs. Oh, and everyone here has pink eye. Now let's wrap this up. I got the director's cut of Raiders of the Lost Ark waiting for me at home. Don't look, Marion! Okay! By the way, I'm pregnant! Maybe just one quick peek. Hey, Lois, what's going on here? Oh, it's my book club, Peter. Come join us. Oh, okay. Why are you acting like this? Look, I've been trying to get into Reginald Barrington's inner circle for years. They've been the most elite family in this country ever since it was founded. They were the ones who invented the buckle on the hat. Hey, I like your zipper hat. I like your zipper hat. Morning, fellas. Oh, that's gonna be a game changer. I did it. He's gone. Just as easy as the creation of techno music. Wait a minute, what key are we in? No, 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 none of that. Why are you doing laundry in the dishwasher? Oh, I can't use the washing machine. It's really been acting up lately. What the hell? What's going on down here? This is washing machine stuff. Go back upstairs, suck bag. This portion of the Channel 5 News at 6 is brought to you by condoms. Put us on backwards a little bit, then put us on the right way.